go. Let's go. Huh. Which one it is? That kind of episode, guys. We're just hanging Anyways, out. as we were saying. <laughs> it's episode. Episode 160. Oh, it's the fallout from the fan stream. Of course, the G.I. Joe Hasbro fan stream. We're going to talk a lot about what's next. There was a leak, of course. Night Force, we'll talk about that. It's a Q&A hangout. Bring the questions. We'll talk all toy lines, all kind of stuff. We'll start with Walmart Collector Con. End with Walmart Collector Con anyway. I'm somewhat your host. We're all hosting tonight. We're just hanging out, but I'm Travis Moody, and you guys can just introduce yourselves. <clears throat> I'm oh, Tony sir. from Tony's Figs. <laughs> I'm the other co-host, Bobby Bear. And I'm Spec. Toy Optics on Instagram. <laughs> the Spec. You're like, this is like a 90s like intro. And Spec. <laughs> you know what's funny guys is i almost went in the chat our chat and was like let's introduce ourselves like i'm tony i'm bobby i'm spec and we just did that without even having to pay for it actually yeah it works romo just wrecked it yeah. uh-uh that was awesome no we, we were going more seconds than that Hold on, we got one more there we go we need the brady bunch intro if I was better with I'm like, Alice, I'm in the you mouth. would be. <laughs> <laughs> KJ just walked. KJ, KJ's like walking into the room, and I'm walking back out. And KJ's already was, frozen. I thought he was froze. He was like, not now. What did I walk He's into? Good. What an intro! What did I walk what? into? Cheers, guys. Testing, testing. Cheers. 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 We're, we're doing this thing Cheers. tonight. Oh, Black Genghis. Oh, mm. My usual Dude, question. So what's up to the homie? Oh, KJ, oh, you went to your oh. modem. Yeah, well. Just, hey, just you know. Yeah, man, this 56K, have, this ain't it. You know I'm right. I hear that dial up in the background. Get that extender, extender action. <laughs> Pardon the right. pun. Um, just so you know, I do have fraternity up on IG. So if anything breaks, nice. Right, I got us. Yeah, because um, what has that Walmart there. thing? Yeah, there was that Walmart thing. We'll talk about that. We we'll talk about it now. We can do whatever you guys want. Want to talk about Walmart Collectorcon? Kick it off a little bit. Sure, well, we, we can do that. We can do that. What's up with the chat? We can say hi to the chat. Yeah, why say not? Hi. We don't well, usually said. we don't usually talk to the chat at all on this show. But no, I'm just we're not that type of people. DWH. DWH. Uh, David Warren. He just made a um. He made his own Night Trooper uh, custom. It was pretty dope, bro. Sorry. Mar Hi, Marbs. Chad oh, Marbs, Kinsler. my Filipino brother. Yo, yo. Action Pants. I like that name. Where? He just, just chimed in at the bottom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, oh, we yeah. got our first question. We got our first question. It's really quick. I'm Here curious, what, what Fallout? So it's not the game. I know I got the logo. It's not the... Bethesda game is it or is it more complaining than usual guys was there a lot of complaining after the fan stream what are we thinking no a little more than it normally is yeah I don't think so it was a, like the normal amount of complaining all right yeah the, I think the biggest complaint was there was one guy who was going off about the uh the HMS being overpriced oh you're right that was yes. a thing but he's also over across the pond, and it's, I think, however many pounds, it equivalates to 90-some-odd dollars. So it's, it's a, it is a hair more expensive over there. I still think it's worth it, but that's me. Same. 
the do HMS, we all think it's, SMS. Do we all think it's worth it? Are you do it? We're all buying it, or at least eventually buying it. How do we feel? Oh, I'm gonna ask Bobby actually. So seventy five bucks for the HMS, too much or? <laughs> I, I mean, look, I'm gonna be cheap and say, yeah, of course, it's too much, um, <laughs> right? But fifty for the the uh, vehicle, twenty five for the figure. We're I mean, Jeremy, I, I guess it's a good price. I would have liked more, like in the sixty, fifty to sixty range, but. You know, uh, I, I'm gonna go. It's it's fair. It's a fair price. Because if it had been Marvel or or Star Wars, that 75 would have been like 125. 125. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But cool. I don't know. Mm. Well, here's it. so Frank. Dumanyu said fifty five ninety nine, and you could look at it as like, well, it's kind of that, and then you throw in the Techno Viper, and you get to seventy five. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's just uh, that's true. This is kind of fair too. Yeah, see here, HMS charges you extra ten for Pulse exclusivity. Fair, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, that I do like that. Stanley, uh, but here's the here's here's the one thing that I'll be like, all right, with Pulse exclusivity, I get that, but if it goes to Target or Walmart and just stalls out there and like just you know peg warms, then Hasbro Hasbro is going to go, well, this isn't making us any money, we're going to cut it, and to the fans, right? So it's 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 a vicious. Yeah. Cycle like, well, where we get screwed, but we get the figures we want. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think we're all good on that price. Anyway, what else is what else is cracking? Uh, nah, I want that. Vi you know, we want that Viper, the Chicago Bulls Viper. Fun, right? Uh, but but that that does. We have talked about this before. Where would we want just the vehicle? Which I think we all say. Well, I think we'd all say yes. So maybe we don't need a figure like we talked about with uh, uh, we had the episode a few few weeks ago where it's like the uh, what, what's the motorcycle uh, the ram the ram yeah. the ram the ram I don't want to have like fifty five you know Tiger Force Dukes to so have you know the, the 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 bike so I don't I don't know maybe do a bike do a vehicle without the bells and whistles without the 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 character I don't know. But then people are like, well, where's the character? Like, well, let me, let me chime in because I was talking to our, our friend Ryan Sweeney, the Dreadnought, about this. What up? That back in the days of ARAH, the figures were really so you could have the vehicles and the play sets. So it was really those were what driving uh, the line back in the 80s because plastic was cheaper it was a smaller scale that kind of thing now it's the characters now it is the figures and it's the vehicles that are like you know anecdotal or whatever like they're off to the side auxiliary so it's it kind of flicked because it is a larger scale and because now you can focus on just detail and all that other stuff so i understand why the joe team wants to package in figures with those vehicles. I think what's going to end up happening is you're going to see a lot of standalone Lucy's on eBay or Mercari, that kind of thing. You know, mm -hmm. like we're going to talk about this leak later on, but that figure and it, it, the figures that come with the vehicles have to be that good. They have to be as good as the ferret scout. They have to be as good as all the other characters that have come with vehicles. So that's, that's a high order, but I think the Joe team they're up to the task. Yeah, if you're mm -hmm. not gonna if you're not gonna get his motorcycles by themselves, well, I mean without the character. Oh, wait a minute. I just messed that up. Uh if you're gonna give us motorcycles, just give us the dreadnought motorcycles, please. <laughs> yeah, you have all the dreadnoughts. <laughs> yeah, then yeah, you exactly. won't need the damn character with the bike. Give us the dreadnought bike. 
Retail. And you know? He's supporting what KJ's saying. D D W H about Kirk Bazigan. We were saying, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you're gonna get five, six Dukes. You want all them Rams? <laughs> I prefer the figure. You know what I mean? Because one less figure you got to chase and pay twenty five. I mean, they're gonna. I don't pay. mind. I'm okay. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll make something with well, them. <laughs> yep. Always. Yep. And we're clear, Spec. You good now? I think it was your internet, buddy. It might be my internet. Yeah, because nobody else did the circle of death. It, it was my internet circle. infecting Specs' internet. <laughs> <laughs> like Johnny <laughs> Mamani. This is the black shit. This gets you the black shit, dude. So KJ can get off my internet. <laughs> well, I think my wife is on a work Zoom. One of my oh. kids is playing on, or they're both playing online on different devices. So that's oh, it. Yeah, that's it. Sucking right. my bandwidth. A long like, night for Dave. Vampire. You're good now, though. You're good. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Because here, here's my thing about that. Ripper, buzzer, torch. Do you really, really want to pay $44.99 for each of those? Is it buying a paywall? You're right, KJ. Then it's a pay, it's oh. a paywall for some people. Because then they Man, have to... You know what? I get what you're saying, but I would. There's my dreadnought. There's my bike. But we would. Enough. But, like, not everybody. You know, not everybody. Yeah, like, I agree with KJ. Because I think there's a handful of us that, and Stanley has a point. We totally would have done that, but everyone else, because we know the Joe fandom can get cantankerous. They would have said, Hasbro's raising the price. They're making us pay more for all these figures. Every dreadnought comes with a motorcycle. I didn't ask for a motorcycle. Like, that's that's what the discussion that's was. weird to me. That's Yeah, that's just weird because they're bikers. I mean, everybody's crying right now. For bikes, and they don't want to have to go get the expensive Marvel Legends one, the Punisher like one, one, the Ghost Rider one, yeah. the Cap one. So I mean, with it, maybe, maybe it's not fair to, you know, harp on the the Dreadnoughts and bikes because they go together like peanut butter jelly. But any others, I don't know. Um, they do, but they also never really existed in the three and a quarter line. They had that giant trike thing but they never had motorcycles oh yeah 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 oh the toy line yeah i'm, I'm thinking comics they were I always the comics, yeah, yeah i know they're synonymous with the comics and every and even yeah. in uh renegades you know the dreadnoughts were zartan they were a biker gang um yeah. i'll make a prediction when they finally announce xandar he'll come with a motorcycle i'm betting xandar is going to have the swamp skier i think he'll have a swamp Ooh. skier <laughs> I like where you guys are at. Should we talk Techno Viper spec? You have, you commented on this in the chat. Just talk about it. Go ahead. Talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the Techno Viper. I believe uh, Liquid made the comment about pre-selling a an alternative colored Techno Viper when we haven't even gotten the purple one yet. Which yeah, it's on the screen. Yeah, I'm cool with that because I love the Techno Viper. So mm -hmm. I will I will take and I'm. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I'm treating the Techno Vipers as singular characters uh, to sort of hinder my All like specialists. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially with the HMS. I, I'm The whole 788 team, to me, those are singular characters. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, if the purple and black Techno Vipers go on sale, then I'll pick up a couple more. But... Um, yeah, I was, I was going to try and curb my army building and then those damn Night Vipers or Night Creepers. Or, or Night Vipers from Romo. <laughs> Come on. Gotta make them. They'll make them. But if yeah, you those, like this, uh, those Night Creepers are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm getting at least three. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you know, I mean, four or whatever. One the leader. I feel, and like, KJ, I feel like KJ was going to say something. No, no, no. I'm, just listening, I'm just listening. Right. You're, you're good. Actually, I want to comment about this. Because yes. obviously we could do three episodes on just this comment alone, right? KJ and and, and me, Romo, right? So I was thinking about a, a Terradrome episode where we could do. I don't know if you guys caught me on this. I want to give these guys a shout out, right? Oh, yeah. For uh, Toy Domination having me Definitely. on. That was a real a real fun episode. They kind of went through the reveals and we we're ranking them. Like, did they make our top five? It was really unique. And but shout out to Plastic Fantastic for doing that. One twelve. My goodness, guys. I don't know if you caught a minute of it or whatever, but he did a grand tour. His name's Michael. Shout out to Michael. He did a grand tour of his whole pit, and it's like four by five. Things massive. 
Yeah, that thing is that thing is beautiful. You can just you can oh man, you can just set up shots left and right in there. Yeah, and, it's great. Uh, we have the space for that shit. <laughs> the hy- the hydraulic lift with a vamp on it is silver mirage. Man, he's got all kinds of stuff going on in there. Shooting range, computer banks. It was awesome. It was dude. like six inter six not interrogation rooms, like six war rooms, like six like it was like three different satellite war rooms. It was crazy. Bro. I like the, I like the nice. part where you pointed out all, all the all the characters in the in the in the med bay in the medical room. They're all from a Snake, Snake Eyes, Eyes movie. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so here's the thing: if you collect Joe toy, uh, Joy Joy toy, excuse me, you can Joy. get like little dioramas and hangar bays and whatnot, and you can combine them. Right, yeah. I feel like we're ready for something like that in the one twelve scale. I'm not talking like cardboard either. It's like you can do a plastic man. I want to see like like high tech, like die cast metal dioramas. I want the stuff that they got overseas. Like that's what I want for the Joes, man. I want Cobra mm-hmm. bases. I want the pit. I want a discotheque for uh, Snake Eyes to break dance. You know, like all that stuff. A bar, you know, a bar, you know, for all the for the knocks. For the knocks. A bar, uh, a shooting range. Oh, man. Dude, the little armory shooting range, if you can find it, like, you can make that work, man. Yeah, I know, man. They used to be like 20 some odd dollars, and now it's like 100 or something. Well, you look at NECA with their sewer layers at 300. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Nick, them turtles, baby. Mm-mm. Right here, look at this. So you just brought it up. We might as well talk about this. We'll run back to Joe, but we got this, and this is kind of gives us an idea of what they could do for Joe classified anyway, right? Exactly. Bobby, Bobby, you're a NECA turtle, dude. <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, talk to me. Look, uh, you know, I, I've, I've, I've talked to, you know, K wish about this and spec about this and I'm this is a little bit more ex, I'm gonna say acceptable I think acceptable is the right word for like three hundred dollars just like little play set all right but but on but on the other hand I've seen what Diamond Select has done with their like uh, build build a diorama <clears throat> there is no reason that a brand like Diamond Select that you can only find in comic book shops and maybe a Barnes and Nobles here and there can add pieces of a diorama in with their figure and keep the price 25 30 bucks and they're bigger mm-hmm. more plastic and then mm-hmm. so yes you say so you do get you know uh someone do the math for me uh 25 like 8 12 figures right 12 something Roughly, like, four, yeah, 12. 12 figures in a set, $300. Okay, $300, but you get 12 figures and you build this. Like, that there is something for in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm going, I need more than just a play set for 300 More than mm-hmm. just like the Haslap. Mm-hmm. The Haslap, perfect example. Yes, it is three, four hundred dollars, but you get what, five figures, four figures? Yeah, even three figures. Okay, fine, thirty bucks each. Okay, so thirty, and then uh, I you the playability, the function. This is cool, and it's gonna be great for photography. But I mean, it, it's it's better than the it's better it is better than the living room. <laughs> it's it's really about perceived value. It's about what are you willing to pay for as a turtles fan. It's not this shit didn't cost three hundred dollars. This thing exactly. costs hundred dollars, but exactly. what are you willing to pay? Like, when things got low, and I had to sell Cobra Island, Cobra Troopers, Red Ninjas, you know, my Wave One Duke, and all that stuff. People were paying triple, quadruple, quintuple. It was what the market would bear. Yeah, right. I tried not to like just hose people over the pricing and whatnot, but whatever that price was on the market, that's what sold. You go yep. to a restaurant. You pay market price for lobster, Chilean sea bass, whatever. It's it's all about what people are willing to pay. Four hundred dollars for the Mezco turtle set, yeah, right. Um, this this his tank. Like I said, like I was this close to selling that his tank 
and throwing in that fire team, it was going to be 600, 700 bucks. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, because then I would have to pay that to get that back. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you really love it. You really love it. So that's something like you're like, well, if it's something you're on the fence, like I have it because then you could. Yeah. Then you could bounce with it. Right. Yeah. The, the one yeah. thing that I do get annoyed with oh and yes, the market does set the price. The issue I have is when they get greedy and grant, you know, lazy capital, capitalism, whatever you want to call it. And then you go, oh, I can't, I don't know. We don't want to pay that. Well, then fine. You don't get these toys anymore. We're going to shut it down. Like, no, just make it a reasonable price. We're willing to pay. We really, we're, wanting, we're willing to pay. But make it fair for us. Don't hose us because we're fans of the product. And mm -hmm. spec, uh, his internet is acting up. His whole has. family is using the internet. There are ones on PlayStation, ones on Xbox, and his wife's on Zoom. So it's going to be a right yeah. for him. He'll yeah. come back. Yeah, yeah, he'll come yeah. back. When he comes back, we'll go back to the, the sewer set because uh, what a blog. Yes, yes. Yeah, Bob, the NECA sewer set price point is poop. Thumbs down. Yeah. But shout out to Extreme Sets. Extreme Sets. They had sales, man. You could have gotten their sewer set for 60 bucks, man. I kid you not. Yeah, I have to get yeah. some of those if I'm going to start, you know, just something have, have something in the background for these, um, you know, either reviews or something. I just like, I'm doing them um, reviews from the top down. I, I like it, but, you know, it's fun to have to differentiate here and there when you're doing your stuff. Yeah. On the YouTubes. Specs <laughs> using my hand. What up, Baldi? Baldi's? What up, Baldi's? If you guys Sweet. missed it last week, it was epic, bro. That was Baldi's. great. Baldi's. Great. Was great. Was yeah, I, I skipped it. Work. I watched. What's up, I'm KJ? Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't. I never skipped it. I'm like, what's up, KJ? What's up? <laughs> 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 hey, uh, let me let me just jump in real quick. There was a bunch of um comments about like the motorcycles and the techno vibe. I didn't, I didn't want to get way too deep and forget about it, but we'll we'll run through it quick. Actually, I got all night, but we'll run through it. Back off, back Mr. Off. Roper, oh, no, you're, we'll, we'll hit you. Look, I yeah, think we, part of the reason they included uh, the driver with the vehicle, I think he's talking about the HMS, is also so they can put a number on the box. The only way to do it is with a figure in it. Ah, that's, I like, that's an interesting. Oh, that's, that's a good point, man. Good interesting. point. Interesting. I would just say good point. I don't have any notes on that. No, um, no, that's, that's good. Point. Wow, that, I didn't even think of that. Oh, uh, well, I don't, this is a new name for me. All things toys. Thanks for hopping on, and that's I apologize cool. if you've been here Thanks before. For but him, bro. yeah, yeah. As far as the dread knocks are concerned, pair a bike with the swamp skier and a two pack with stickers, so you could customize them. Okay, I like that as a pulse only. Uh, you can army build it, and then, yeah, you could build it and then not have to worry about the figure. I get it. Like if they did a pulse exclusive, maybe bike, you know, without a figure, because I think if it goes on the shelves or. uh Big Bad Toy Store Entertainment Earth, they want the figure. I know they do. You know what I mean? The stores are going to want the figure with it. I know just from the WWE Mattel stuff, right? It all comes with a, a wrestler. Come out with a pair of so, bikes. Lux. I hope they Pickers release Knox bikes. They come with sticker sheets. He said the same thing. Strong mind. Any of you guys ever get die-cast motorcycles? Like New Ray, Maisto, none of those? They are they are undersized, but they're, they're bicycles. That's why. You get the Harleys. Yeah. That's why I don't. I know of them, but I never had it. Once I once I put my dreadnoks on the Marvel Legends bikes, I, that was it. I yeah. just gotta. I want to make them look a little bit more dreadnockish. Get some bad mother tattoos and custom stickers That's, and yeah. hook them up. You know, yeah, Punisher yeah. bikes. Yeah, so I got the, those. Already. Huh, Tony? Do you have the McFarlane bike, like the the motorcycles from McFarlane? The McFarlane bikes? No, I don't. I'm not familiar with those. Like the Drifter motorcycle from the Batman. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have that. Oh, the, with the big, yep. huge front end, not the bone bike. No, not the, oh, it's, it's the, European. Not it's yeah. European, so it's chill. Yeah, it's the one from the Batman. Remember, he coasts around in it. He has like a civilian motorcycle. It was like yeah. ten bucks at one point. Oh, the oh, the one from the Batman. Yeah, it's lit. Yes, too. The Batman. okay, yeah, okay. Hold on, it's I'll find it. It may kick me off the internet, but I'm gonna find it real quick. Hold on a second. Actually, no, I can just grab mine. I could grab mine right from there. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with, I mean, I um, the Punisher one is the one with the ape hangers. I give that one to Zartan, and then um, Ripper and Buzzer, they've got uh, 
they've got the other bikes and they look really good. It's just they they look a little bit too Marvel Legendish, too too like new and pristine. I gotta like put some dreadnought stuff on them and I'll call it a day right I there. I got Ripper on it. There it is. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm solo. Hey, Moody, I'm soloing you. You're solo. All right. Cool. Say hi to the camera, Ripper. But yeah. Yeah, that's way more detailed than the than the Legends bikes. Yeah. And Tony, you can get this right now, 1875 on Amazon. Yeah. Hi. Good. Oh, I'm soloing, soloing you, Tony. I'm good. What's that? That's that's I repurposed the uh the Ghost Rider bike. So that's, what I did, yeah. I had oh. painted I painted the rims, I highlighted the, the engine louvers. Stuff. So this is this is Zartan's. I have Ghost Rider sitting back on it because you can put his flame effects back on it still. True. You know, so and, and I, <laughs> I love black and chrome. Black and chrome is my shit. So. Man, you customize everything, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah, that one. And then, you know, the other ones. Torch comes. I need another bike. So so what am I? OK, so. Uh, OK. Oh, let me say that. It's got sure, right? Punisher. That's yeah. the Punisher the bike? Yeah, yeah, see, I his believe. is not done like mine. His is just black, yeah. Is it the same mold, Tony? Yeah, that's that's uh that's yeah, that's that's this one, Moody. I just I just did some paint work to it. Yeah, you you did good. <laughs> <laughs> Too lazy for that. All right, so here's here's the thing, gents. So the McFarlane uh drifter motorcycle right now is 1875. Right, you can probably beat that price, but if you go to eBay to get like the Wolverine motorcycle or the damn Punisher bike, the Punisher bike is going for oh my goodness, they want $79.99. 77 Ridiculous. free ship. Holy new. Whoa, new. hold on, hold on. You guys gotta see this. Oh my goodness, why? Moody, tell me why. Tell Look me why. Ain't nothing um, but a god. Damn. Yikes. Mm. It's a damn Good. figure and a bike. Just show me the fucking bike. Hold on a second. <laughs> There's some with just the bike, 35 bucks. I think I saw. All right. That's not bad. 68.50. I mean, bad no, that's bad. That's, that's, that's still kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Really, really, ninety bucks, man, for real. Mm -hmm. Come, on, Come on, man. It doesn't have to be like this. Yeah. Stanley got a question. He said, "Thoughts, please." He said, "Pretty please with sugar on top." Hasbro should offer discounts to the Haslab backers of any adjacent product to given Haslab. So, like the seven eighty eight Fire Team and the I, HMS. I think so. Mm -hmm. I, I think that'd be a good like. Hey, you just spent you know four hundred dollars on a on a you know here fifteen percent off. Okay, I do that. Four hundred hundred on Amazon. Yeah, there it's always higher than eBay, and then thirty two on for Wolverine's bike. Oh, oh, what's yeah, up, Joe? Wolverine. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying we we just talked on uh, we just gave you guys a shout out from Sunday's show. So that was that was fun. So there you go. Yeah, and that was a great episode, Jim. All right, coming in late. Okay, Can yeah. We talk so about yeah, that Wolverine. The, uh, what's up? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. That Wolverine motorcycle, yeah, 32 bucks, like they said. So that's something. That's better than nothing. Cool. That's true. And once again, you can pair that. Um, Moody, you have both the Drifter bike and the um, Hasbro bike, right? And Tony, which what's those other bikes? Those are all Ghost Rider Hasbro bikes? One, I think the blue one was, the, the, the stripe was a, a Ghost Rider one. And then this one, I think this was a Wolverine one? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Because you could take the bags off it and put them back on. And then I had... Uh... I messed with one of the Toy Biz bikes. This is that Toy Biz Wolverine bike, but I yeah, I kind of put different bars on it. Still looks in scale, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in scale. What about this, Tony? Look at the screen. Yeah. I, yeah. I wish. Yeah, it'd be freaking seventy five. He's thirty five hundred dollars. Three D printing is expensive. It'd be a hundred dollars for freaking torches. Shit, man. I was gonna. Um. Yeah. I was gonna grab. I throw, I, I throw Zorana on this. She has to be. She has to be fast. She has to scoot. Yeah. <laughs> is that black, black widow, widow bike? Just... Remember? Remember the black widow bike? Yeah. Got snake eyes. She's on got that. the crotch rocket. Hey, uh, Moody. How much bigger is that McFarland bike than the Hasbro bike? Oh, I just put them away. No, no, no! Don't you don't have to grab them. Just I say, yeah. half inch. Was about the same. Was about the same. Those That's ones are the smaller. same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like obviously one has the higher handlebars, but other than that, it's the same. I mean, right. yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. a big Harley, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, it's the same one. That one has the ape hangers on it. I give that to Zartan. Yep. And if you took all the bone material off of the death metal motorcycle, you can. It's, That's another good it's bike. Like, yeah, exactly. It's like a conventional motorcycle. Get the get the yeah, Jeremy. Oh. Get the squirrel girl scooter, the dead pool scooter. <laughs> <sighs> Not everyone's heads at the Vespa should game. We talk, should we talk about the uh Walmart collector con? Do you guys feel like talking about that? Whatever you want to do, sure. Check in with, I'm checking with the chat real quick, too. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, guys, uh, in the chat. Bring the questions. If we don't get to them right away, we'll star them and we'll answer them later. But we're we're gonna do our best to go talk questions uh, through the whole talk answers Q and A throughout the whole show. It could be anything, any toy line. Uh, what did you have for dinner last night? I don't care. We're just hanging out, having beers, having fun. It's a fun episode. Um, uh, Collector Con obviously is the 14th and 15th, so that sometime next week, and we're expecting Night Force. We were expecting Night Force, and then we got a leak. Obviously, you guys all saw it. If you're watching the show, you saw it, right? And there it is. So, give you a good, Booyah. nice, wide look. That's Anybody beautiful. could jump in and talk about it. A bike to go with my custom Night Force Shockwave. So... While Spec is, you know, figuring out figuring his shit out, he did bring up <laughs> a good point in the chat. Uh, I think it was like last week. How Hasbro was just going to rely on repaints and remolds, or like just like switching, you know, pieces around. And this is a great example of you know playing you know Jenga with a bunch of figures and getting something new. Um, it's fine. I like it. I like it. I don't, I don't know if I'll buy it per se, but I probably will. Let's be real. Let's let's be real here. I'll probably end up getting it. But uh, I mean, it looks yeah. dope. But... If you can, it's Walmart. You might have a hard time. <laughs> oh, it's Walmart. No. Then yeah, never mind. <laughs> you, I know you will. <laughs> limited quantities on Pulse, right? Limited, very limited. Yep. You got to order right Moody's away. Who's got to go shopping in the store for that one? <laughs> yeah, I'm, ban I'm banned from Walmart, but not the stores. Yeah, I'm not going to no Walmart store. They <laughs> never have anything in SoCal. We got Frankensons here. They don't That's let right. anybody buy anything. The toy I need to go visit toy, just to go to Frankensons, but I heard it's expensive as hell. Toy aisle dude in every Walmart is a homie with the Frankensons. There's a connection. I said it right here on air. It's cool. Make your money. I get you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not able to buy any Walmart stuff. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. KJ, talk about the shockwave. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking, yeah, that they, they're reusing the shockwave um, vest, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is Night Force shockwave. It could be either, you know, they're saying it's Night Force Steel Brigade or Night Force Steel Corps. That makes sense, but it could still be Night Force shockwave with a Steel Brigade helmet because that's what turns it into a troop builder if that's what you like just throwing that in as an option and if you want to keep it a name character you can just take that other alternate helmet and give it somewhere else i don't know what they're going to give us the other helmet even if we get troop builders like steel core in green shirts they can do like what marvel legends did how we got the other head sculpts with the um shield troopers and um the female hydra shield two pack just give us other portraits that may or may not necessarily have like a character name to it, but you know, mm -hmm. 
just different options. Right. Yeah, because those legs are Duke, right? Retro Duke, I think. So it's not even um they're not the shockwave legs if you look. They're different. Oh, his oh the night force. Yeah, I, I think it yeah. is. Yeah, I think it man, we're all calling it. Well, I mean, a lot of people are calling it night force shockwave because of the vest. So right. and I you think, would he's I a real night is. force character. Yeah, yeah, just so. the way they did Tunnel Rat, and they come out right away with Night Force Tunnel Rat, right away with the other one. I think they're doing it again. It says, see the mm -hmm. you can barely see the camel pattern on his knee going up on his thigh. It might be we might have a yeah. There you go, a, there you go, David. There you go, David. All right, David was right. Yeah, it is the vamp helmet. It's not the steel beard. Yep. Yeah, yep. it just doesn't you have the, your own. The, it doesn't have a tiger mouth on it. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm calling that's a Night Force shockwave right there. I mean, there's a night force on the bike. There's his vest, and they give him the helmet, which he, you know, he he pays attention to the rules of the road. Man, needs a needs a needs a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Joe fan says, uh, "How's everyone this evening?" Yeah, you guys good, brother. How you doing? How you guys doing? Joe fan hanging out with the Joe fam. Also, uh -huh. friend too. Yes, We're punk chilling. it is. Thanks for everyone checking in a little later. Thank you. We're just doing a Q&A. We're hanging out, answering questions. We're going to go through a few things, but it's not. Just having a good time. Talk about anything. Joe, Turtles, Jada. I don't care. Talk about wrestling. I don't give a shit. Comics. Let's do it. Let's yeet, go. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Let's, let's talk it all. But yeah, of course, Joe is always going to dominate. So that hey, that's what we're going to do. So Eric Thurman gave Tiger Duke. Roblox helmet. Yeah. Oh yeah, Roblox did come with a helmet. That's right. Tom makes mm -hmm. a good point there, and and that was something that I actually thought about it. Oh, man, was it today? Yet yesterday, I was going to Target or today. I don't know which one. Both. Uh, and I was like, ah, I got these pre-orders. I'm like, oh wait, <sighs> Buzzer is still chilling on the shelves here. Like, do I need to jump on? Like, I'll probably will wait for this. Just because, like, yeah. I don't want to get bitten. Oh, 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 we have we have Spec. Hello. Spec. Well, hello there. Well, hello there, Specster. I'm on my <laughs> phone right now. This is like <laughs> this is pissing me off. He's on the five G. At least keep it plugged in. Well, He's a mobile well, hotspot. Yeah, Damon. Reason... He came with the. He came with Flyerfly's drone. I could. That's going right in the bin, bro. I don't need yeah. that thing. Yeah. But whatever. What do you guys think of the here. drone? What are the chances, right, of the drone name being... Thing. This is a wild guess, but what if we had a Night Force sneak peek? If sneak peek came with the drone and it was a two-pack with the RAM? There you go. What about that? Any chance to pack with a bike? That'd be a lot of money, though, right? Too much mm -hmm. for shelves. Mm -hmm. Probably only shelves. Bikes would be cool. Yeah, KJ just went to go get beer. That's right. That's what we're doing. Cool. Head but he like logged nice. all the way off. It's only it's only three of us now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He logged all the way off to get beer. Well, uh, I'll be yeah, right back. Was all the way, way off. off. Holster, I mean, yeah, the holster is different. That's what we said. We said the legs are are I are, mean, are retro mean, Duke. Maybe it's bigger. I don't know. You tell that me, might punk. Be, that might be a no. That might be a new holster, man. I don't know. It's not uh, rock and rolls. He has that big uh, metal piece on it. Uh, yeah, I'm just messing with a bunch of holsters. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's able to add himself or someone added him. All right. I brought him in. Yeah, there we go. Great. Scrap wow. iron arms, not the dusty arms like the Santa Deco. So scrap iron arms, says Jeremy. Yeah, because yeah. see the padding underneath the right arm. Yep. Good call right there. Whose holster is it? Yeah, I think we said maybe Retro Duke, but maybe you guys would know in the chat. No. Oh, Retro Duke. I don't know because the that's what I'm saying. Because I looked at the Retro Duke only has one strap. Right, right. The new, the new retro Duke that we don't even have yet. That's what I'm saying. I saw the. It does have two strap. Right on. Mm, I should Let's see. You know, so definitely not beach yet. He's got three. 
as I looked right. at my collection. Here's a question for you. Is the vamp helmet clutches helmet? It's a it's not a sculpt, it's a helmet, over the head helmet. I don't remember. I think this one is a is another head, but it's a helmet. You know what I mean? It's I don't know how to yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so it's, it's a separate sculpt. sculpt. Right. Got That'd it. be cool and they could do it, but they don't. I don't know why that would be awesome, but I don't, I don't mind. Appreciate it. that, Frank. Hitting the subscribe and the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Thanks Thank for you, hanging Frank. out. We're just we're just hanging out tonight. I'm catching up with the chat. That's why we're going a little yeah, slow because you guys are here all, going Q &A. Maybe, oh. yeah. Maybe other Night Force figure will be Lieutenant Falcon. <laughs> yeah, right, because we need that face, and he was uh he was Night Force. Right. He was. That's he was his, this is the best hope. What's up? Falcon was Night Force and he was Mad Marauder, right? Or you know, he was a part of Slaughter's Marauders, now Mad Marauders. We got uh right here. No, that's repeater. Chris, oh, right here, Falcon. Or... Yeah, it's it's Falcon right there. Right. Yeah. Falcon sneak right there. The sneak peek, the major oh, peeping film. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> sneak peek could have the drone. Who else would have the drone? And no, you're right. You're, that, that, that's a good call. You know? Not definitely not a well, I don't know. The cop could have it. What psych out? No, psych out. Know. That makes sense too. Yeah, right there. No, yeah, night force could be. A, oh, sorry. No, KJ, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no I'll, uh, Tony, we're probably gonna say the same thing. Uh, no, I was just thinking. I was just. I'm loving. I was telling somebody else besides Dreadnought, Night Force is my favorite sub team, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Can't get more military kickback than outback right there. Mm -hmm. Right. That's <laughs> a good question. I like that. I'm going to ask you guys a question. What's everyone's favorite sub team? We'll start with Bobby, go to spec, and then work our way back. Um, You had to pick. You have to pick. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's go, Firefly's drone. I'm going to go Marauders. Mad like Marauders, the Sergeant Slaughter Marauders. Gotcha. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter the Marauders. I don't have a reason why, I just I like to, you know, they looked cool. Hey, Spec. Spec. So I'm going to call Dreadnoughts and Iron Grenadiers. I'm going to call those sub factions. I agree. I'm not even talking about those. Those don't count. Right. So, right. yeah. For me, it'd probably be Python Patrol. Oh, wow. Okay. And the guy in the maroon shirt. Python Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bat shirt on. A bat, sh a target bat. Is it KJ? I didn't. I didn't see it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no. But what's your team? What's your team, KJ? Who me? Your, fa your yeah. favorite. Me, my favorite teams. The toy kind of mood teams. So really quick before oh, I answer, oh, I gotta give oh. a shout to you guys. Yes, Guinness. Oh, yeah. Guinness. All right. Four roses. So, so this is for you guys. Cheers. All right. Hey, hey. Nice. Cheers Everywhere in the chat. Oh, that sounds like Cheers a stomachache waiting to happen. Every time you say dreadnought, you had to take a shot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think this is Joe because he's a Joe guy from Toy Domination. Vamp he said the separate... vamp is a clutch. Yeah, clutch is a helmet is a separate head sculpt. Yeah, so, it's not a head swap. What he, what he says that, yeah. Oh, and now Jeremy says overhead helmet. And you know, Jeremy. Or for patron. which one? Or for clutch or for. Oh, well, now Punk says it has a helmet. Uh oh. Ooh. We got a we got some competition That's here. That's even better. That's even two better. against two. Yeah. Because, for, have... because it's always been a different head sculpt if they got a helmet. Yeah. Like Baroness started it, remember? With their bike. Because yeah. it was just, it's just stuff. easier that way. Just to swap it on the Yeah, page, right? That's fine. But since they started making eels and you know with a helmet going over overlays, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. did KJ pick his sub? -team? Uh, the the jungle team, the jungle team. I may go back and just buy those the vintage from Rise of Cobra, like Duke. Tiger Force. And, what do you mean the jungle? No, no, no. Team? I mean like Duke and Spirit and um, Rakondo. The Lerp? Wait, yeah, the long the range. The, the ones that came with Shadow Tracker in the original three and three quarter line. When Shadow oh, Tracker was released, of Cobra's not? I don't know. Yeah, that's Pursuit of Cobra. So they had oh, like it was all the tribute to Predator. So it was like 
You had Duke. Oh, you had Jungle Team. Spirit, and you had Rakondo. Like, Spirit was Billy. Rakondo was basically Jesse Blame. the Body Ventura. Like that. So since we got Shadow Tracker, I want the Jungle Joes to go with that. That'd be cool. Classified. And if Do we can't not, get them, I'm just going to buy the vintage anyway. Makes sense. Do not get into a fucking car accident. Yeah. <laughs> safe, no. Why? Yeah, Why be safe. <laughs> right here, oh. like my comment. Frank, I'm sorry. Frank C. That's that yeah, C yeah. Viper. He's driving and he's wild. So that's dedication. Yeah, be in the careful, rain. Frank, Man. please. Jesus. Be, be, I hope you just listen. Don't look at her stupid mugs while you're driving. All right. All right. So real quick, I do have some preternia news. Nothing exciting. Ooh. Um, real quick, uh, Mayfex's Venom and Ben Riley are back up for pre-order on Plaza Japan, which a really good site. That's how I got my Psylocke for like 20 bucks cheaper than Big Bad Toys. Uh, mm, yeah. But then how much is the shipping? Right. It, it, it was twenty dollars cheaper altogether than Big Bad Toys. Oh. What's that site again? Plaza Japan. Plaza Japan. Yeah, I got the Silock Mayfex for eighty five. You're welcome, Brian. I think I was the first one to do that. <laughs> and then um <laughs> McFarlane just released their Fallout movie maniacs up for pre order on Amazon. Whoa. So if you want really pretty figure uh statues for twenty five dollars. Hey, they can go like this. This. <laughs> um, also, real quick, can I do a little like what was going on with Rob Liefeld last week or this week? Well, we're almost done. Well, we're almost done with the sub teams. I'm the last one, right? Let's go, let's go to the sub teams. Sorry, sorry. Let's go to the sub teams. Okay. Yeah. We'll come right awesome. back to you, Bobby. I'm kind of we'll come David. right back to Bobby. Yeah. So Tony's done. Well, David said uh, Iron Grenaders and Dreadnoughts. Those don't count. No, those are those are factions. Oh, because everybody would be dreadnoughts across the board. It would be boring. Okay, so Night Force, Night Force, my favorite team. Same. Yeah, that's okay. okay. There number two. That's it. All okay, right, Bobby. Bobby turn. <laughs> All right. So this past week, uh, so we we kind of made fun of McFarlane releasing his uh, 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 first draft to spawn, and then his really wonky figure where his face is even messed up, which goes to a thing. Mick Farland just can't do faces right. Now, this past <laughs> week, Rob Liefeld released his action figures that look straight out of, like, the early 90s BS used to do. He released it, though, with a video making fun of Mick Farland. Ooh, shots were, fired. Shots were fired, yes, because, I, A, Rob Liefeld is a douche. B, he is still mad at Mick Farland for his success. So he did a video and he's like, he like had his eyes scrunchy like Todd does and all that shit. But it was really, really cringy when you watch this guy that like, like his one claim to fame is Deadpool not being able to draw feet and bad anatomy. And on top of that, said he was better than Jim Lee. Bullshit. But B. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But B. That is he, bullshit. But uh, so <laughs> he, uh, he's mad at Todd. Because uh, Spawn overshadowed his young his young bloods. So uh, and I've met Rob before. He's just he's just kind of an ass. Like he's a nice guy until you disagree with him, and then he just blocks you. And yes, everything Lifeful does is cringe. But it was just, dude, the video was so bad, and it was so cringy, and and it's just like, oh man. You're talking about the video he was making fun it, of his, his his voice and stuff when he was yeah. I thought that was hilarious. I, there's, I think they're still friends, though. No. I think, really? He's not just they're, messing with they're them? Probably like they're probably frenemies. They're fre really? Because, so uh, my my company, my website, uh, we do this thing called Shakers. Every week, uh, every week, uh, like if something happens and then the, the market, you know, makes certain books jump up in price, we talk about it. Well, when Wolverine and Deadpool got announced – New Mutants 98 jumped up in price. And, you know, my managers were like, hey, talking to Rob Liefeld. And he's like, ah, I can't wait to be on, you know, number one next week. And I'm like, well, we'll see. Well, th that very next week, McFarland announces the spawn, you know, like, yo, we're still doing the movie. James, you know, Bl you know, Bloomhouse. 
Rob Liefeld goes on social media and blasts my company for not making him number one again. They're like, they're like, we don't do this. Here's the thing. His fans went to defend my company. So, and hey, um, there, there, it's just the market. Like this just, it's just how the market goes. And he started, he started shadow banning all of his fans who didn't agree with him. And Rob Liefeld will shadow ban you and block you if you do not agree with him. Yeah. Liefeld? Liefeld? Oh, yeah. He's a great. He can't draw wow. on top of Captain all America, that. Captain America chest to save his life. Exactly. On top of all of that, while Rob like, Liefeld did co-create doing. Deadpool, while he did co-create Deadpool, he is not who made him famous. It was Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis. Joe Kelly, and Ed McGinnis gave him like the anime look, the two swords and all that shit. Um, Joe Kelly is the one that gave him the sarcasm, the fourth wall breaking, the sexual innuendos, and like going, hey, and like and, it made yeah. him funny. And McGinnis Joe, draw, drew him really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like Joe Kelly Probably. made him like funny. Ed, Ed McGinnis can actually draw anatomy, can draw feet. So who co created with him? Fabian? Yeah. Okay. It was, it was on, yeah. Brian Fabian. Merchant sounds like Bobby Bell. <laughs> 100%. 100%. 100%. Brian, you're awesome. <laughs> It's hard to read a Liefeld book, even Baby if it's and about me, snake yeah. eyes. <laughs> oh my god, the red I snake eyes. That's was kind of cool. The red snake yeah. eyes. I don't know. Yeah, he was. But. He he posted on his socials like it was a picture of his Wolverine, like 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 he was like his Wolverine like jumping, but he had like like massive like his his underarm was up here, like just like mat like just like lats for days, and then like he's like you think my Wolverine isn't as good as this Wolverine as like Jim Lee's like classic Wolverine? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to say that you suck. So. Yeah, you suck. I mean, look at look at what you do with the uh, Heroes Reborn. Not Heroes Reborn, but when they're you know when they drew that damn uh, Thor and Captain America with the huge freaking chef yep. up chest. <laughs> like, dude, what are you doing? Like, he'll he'll draw women like with like their back, like their spines are breaking. He's like, yes, Jesus, yeah. Man. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Deadpool is your claim to fame. Rob Liefeld, guys. I didn't expect that one. <laughs> I didn't say, yeah, neither did I. Good stuff right there. Dude, I got, 17, again. I got 17 starred comments. Hook it up. Let's try to, yeah, these people deserve our attention, I think. KJ, you make me hungry. A Q&A episode, after all, <laughs> name a less popular vehicle driver, <laughs> Joe and Cobra, you'd love to see in Classified. Uh, name a less popular vehicle driver. Cross country. Hey, They're gonna do cross country without the habit, and watch people lose their minds. <laughs> a less popular vehicle driver. Um, toll booth. Uh, toll booth. He's not a driver. Remember toll booth. Remember toll booth. The drive. What drive. What he drive? I'd love toll booth. He had the bridge layer. That's right, bridge baby. Yes, that's Next right. For the, the win. Construction thing. Nice. It was a birthday present right. from a friend of mine. Good I work. loved that vehicle. Good to work. I love how this show, because it's a hangout, people can actually just get up and go and eat and go to the bathroom. It doesn't matter. Like, we're going to have rotating cast. I'm sure if I'm drinking beer, I'm probably going to have to go take a number one. Every I haven't broke my seal yet. Yeah, I'm not yet. Switch rooms in about 10 minutes. But you've been switching rooms all night, baby. <laughs> no, I can take it camera. I've been in the same spot, just switching between my phone and switching now. Switching digital it's... rooms. You've been switching digital rooms. Exactly. Oh, so now He's been a trooper so far. He's been trying to hang, man. <laughs> well, it seems like shit stabilized for now. Spec, before you go, what the fuck is this comment? What's this? Can't forget, Can't forget the forget. non-exclusive Honda Lose haulers and life fit benders. I don't. I, Those are all Sumbo shoutouts. It's that's, yeah. It's, it's all from the cartoon. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Okay. Well, then that's some, that, that, that is some Bravo deep cuts right there. That's yeah. Bravo yeah. deep cuts. Super Sumbo is crazy. And and shout out to KJ knew it too. He's like, yeah, I I watched the whole season today. All right. <laughs> <laughs> today. Well, as soon as he said Honda Lou, I knew what he was talking about. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But seriously, right. during the like, pandemic. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh no no go ahead no we'll play, no during we'll the play. pandemic I would I would be streaming GI Joe it was like calming almost there was there was a pandemic <laughs> oh, it didn't, work, didn't didn't keep me away from work I was picking all in 
schools of the hospital. He was in Arizona. There was never a pandemic in Arizona. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they they keep keep burned off all the COVID. They get, they get essential. The Romo is essential. I'm a, I was essential. He was essential. I essentially That's got true. COVID twice. <laughs> oh, boy. Me too. Uh, I finally got yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. Zero. This is for Bobby. This Zero. is for Bobby nice. right here. That's awesome. My Bobby, baby talk to us. Hold on a second. Uh, no, 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 I'm no, no. I'm repping Master Verse. Man. Okay. Wow. Okay. There you go. No, imagine no, it was the I'm ready for snout spout. Yeah. Imagine that you had it. That'd be that'd be the biggest like. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> I went, I went to Mattel with K Wish yesterday, and they had a uh, Wildor and Orco two pack. The new, yeah. Did they? I want that clam champ. I don't have it yet. Which, mm. um, and then uh, yeah, the snaps part. Yeah, that, yeah. I think I think KJ is picking that up for me when it comes out. <laughs> you better double check that with KJ. FC Viper. No, KJ, KJ knows. He said. KJ knows me. Snaps pro. Okay. Yeah, no, we've we've had we've had many discussions. Actually, I, I gotta pay him some money. Um, you gotta pay me some money. <laughs> I do. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> FC Viper asked me, Tony, can you create a custom figure in Liefeld style? Hell no. That's no. a lot of milli putt. That's a lot that's of, a lot right of milli putt from here <laughs> to here. If you look at hey, those loose collector figures, I will say, like as far as figures go, they look pretty good. They do look Liefeld style ish, and I always, when I see him, want to comment where it's like, "Oh, Not thanks, Bobby." Where it's, uh, mm -hmm. "Oh, they made the feet look like feet." You know, like the the <laughs> figure actually has more proper proportions than what Liefeld. Those are actual feet. <laughs> but loose collector women are freaking badass. So it's funny. There's oh, a famous X right. Force cover. Cause we're just gonna bash Liefeld tonight. Why not? Um, there's a famous X Force cover where none of the none of his characters what have feet except for Shatterstar. Better be sorry. I remember that one. Yeah, like there's a bunch of like dust, like that's just like right at the feet level. So Juggernaut doesn't have feet. Richter doesn't have feet. Cable doesn't have feet. It's like God, you're so for a, while, for a while, for a while, it looked like Jim Lee was doing that too. Everything, but the feet were covered by like the landscape. <laughs> No, you asked. I lost article, my feet in the war. Yeah, wasn't as bad yeah. as Liefeld's, but because Jim Lee, oh, love Jim Lee artwork. You you ask any artist because I actually saw Jim Lee speak, and they were like, asked, like Pacheco too, and someone asked him, and, so, like, uh, like so drawing feet. How do you feel about that? And everyone started laughing because they knew it was about Liefeld. He goes, "Oh, I hate drawing feet, but I know how to draw them. You want to see me?" So he drew feet like on a giant screen for like two minutes, <laughs> just showing how to draw feet. Uh, no, yeah. yo, you guys, hold on, Spec. No, actually, Spec, you go first. I was go gonna ahead. say, Marbs pointed out he mentioned Gen Thirteen and J. Scott Campbell. J. Scott Campbell, he somehow keeps getting left in the background. Like we talk about the artists. Like for me, when I wanted to draw comics, I looked up to McFarlane and then Greg Capullo. But like, yeah, J. Scott Campbell was always there in the background. Uh -huh. His art style and the way that he draws women. And then there's another artist He's who awesome. did Sunday Funnies. And then started doing comics. Frank Cho. Frank Cho. Yeah. That Frank Cho. Awesome. Oh my god. No, 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 no. You guys won't like this because Frank Cho. All Frank Cho's characters look the same. Even the background men, and everything yeah. else, they all look the same. Hey, it's Scott Frank Campbell. Cho. Those all look the same. They all look like <laughs> Danger Girl. They all look like fucking Danger. But when, Girl. But when he it's drew it. um Shauna the She Devil, holy yeah. Moses. So, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. So yes, Frank Cho, all the same. J. Scott Campbell, I love Scott Campbell. I met him before. Wonderful, nice guy. I look the same. David Finch, all his characters look high. Like every artist is going to give you something. But yeah, I, uh, I love, I, I love J. Scott Campbell. I sent a few. Uh, I actually have a few things coming in uh, that I had signed from Scott J. Scott Campbell. Uh, yes, right here. Sorry. I love this stuff. Uh, I got rest in peace, Michael Turner. I want to give a um, rest in peace to Michael Turner. Yeah, Dude, Michael Turner. So I have a Michael really a long great time ago. Thirty, he th died at thirty-seven, which was really fucking sad. I, met, I got to meet the guy three times. Second time, I had a university, of, uh, a UT shirt on. He loved Tennessee. I'm from obviously from Texas. He goes, he goes, oh, I see you have a UT shirt on. I'm like, yeah. He's he a goes, volunteer. He goes, so you, so it's Tennessee. I'm like, no, no, Mike, I'm from the real UT, not the bullshit Tennessee. <laughs> and he goes, all right. 
see. So then we joked about that. Two years later, he he had the cancer was coming back, but he was he so his breaks were taking a long time at the cons. Yeah, didn't care what it two hours in his line for him. You get up to him and uh, he goes, "You look familiar." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm the one that told you that Tennessee was a bullshit college." And he goes, "Do you want me to sign your shit or not?" <laughs> oh, that's I'm funny. Like, Please. <laughs> and he's not. Hey, shout out to Andrew Seepill. I just stumbled upon you guys yesterday, and you I have pull it up. Much pull it up. Just pull up comments. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Everyone here can just pull up comments and talk if you want. Like, yeah, just uh, yeah. Okay, let me find him. Yeah, and I just want to give a quick shout out to Aaron Payne. Uh, shout out to Salinas. Thanks for always joining us. Uh, and everybody new to the chat, welcome, welcome to the Toy Kind of Mood Q and A. Thank, thank you. Thank Thanks you. for joining, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. And I got something wire. about feet. You guys are done talking. Uh, I love that. Hold on. I got to solo this, man. I miss Michael Turner. Michael Turner was oh, an yeah. amazing talent. I'm yeah, he's this. awesome. So I've got this. I've got this rest one. Of, Turner, Jeff Lowe, rest Supergirl. Rest in power. Rest in power. Quick, rest in power. Like George this. Perez as well. Yes. Boom. Nice. I have that one too. Yeah. Awesome. Rest in peace, Tim Sale. Tim oh, Sale, man, that dude. Broke, that broke my heart, dude. Yeah. Bobby, uh, uh, I, got, I got to meet Tim Sale at WonderCon. He signed my Detective Comics 1000. I asked him to sign it in the battle ring. Oh, oh. Linil Yu and Mike Diodato. I love Mike Diodato too. Yeah, Diodato is awesome, is awesome. Yeah, Tony, love, do you uh, have any, uh, hey, do you have any comic book pickups? I got my Skybounds. I got the Sky I, I have to go get the GI Joe stuff. The oh, I'm nice. glad you guys oh, brought this the, up. I, I got the hang on. Sorry, I got the, the new okay. Void Rivals today. And then the new uh, the Ninja Turtles, the re-evolution. Okay. Hey, yes. right okay. There. Okay. All right, Spec, you ready? Yeah. Got to talk to you about both of those. Thank you. That's exactly you fucking read my mind. It was those the two. So Void Rivals, they're in issue seven. I have no fucking idea what's going on in that book. I have uh -oh. I'm fucking I lost. It. I am all I know is we saw Duke once, I think, or Spike, and I think we saw Optimus. Uh, one we saw one Transformer, one Joe. Otherwise, I'm lost. It looks nice. I like Robert Kirkman. I've been a big fan. Invincible is one of my favorite books of all time. My favorite superhero book ever. That's not in Marvel and DC is Invincible. I have no idea what Void Rivals is. I don't want to say it sucks because it might be over my head. I don't want to say it's amazing just because it's Robert. Kirk. I don't know. Someone help me here. Comments. I'm like boy it a lot. You guys with this shit or what? I'm with it. There's so you did see uh, Jetfire, and then you did. It does go I, kind of deep cut to Jetfire's season. Jetfire's on the cover was a spoiler cover. Yeah, I think. yeah. Season three, I think, of Transformers, the cartoon, where you do. There is a Quintesson in there. And then there's that uh, from the the Ghost of Starscream episode, that weird pig bounty hunter guy. Mm -hmm. And so so they kind of do that deep cut where they're in the universes. But essentially, Void Rivals is about two planets, right? Two people at war, two peoples at war, two groups. And you think that they're two different species. And they always have to wear a helmet. They're not allowed to take their helmets off in front of the opposite species. and these these two fighter pilots get into a dogfight and they crash and then they have to help each other out and they end up taking their helmets off and they come to realize that they're essentially the same and that's the big secret that could upend the power struggle coming from i think both sides so now they're kind of like on the run because it's the, the the higher ups are like who else knows about this these guys know about this and so that, that's kind of where we're I, at right okay. Now. okay all right should i just reread it i don't know <laughs> it's like i've i've got the first trade coming in i've got i've got issue one i got like the third or fourth printing back here i just haven't read it yet yeah uh, it's kind of i mean when i first read it i was like oh this is enemy mine to some extent yeah and then Ooh, nice deep cut yeah. there you go some Lou Gossett. Who's Lou Gossett Jr.? Who's Dennis Quaid? Dennis, um, <laughs> well, we're both bald, so. Uh, <laughs> but look, uh, when it comes to Void Rivals, I'm just waiting for the trades. My money yeah. is going towards Joe's and Transformers. I mean, you know, I'll get Void Rivals, but it's going to have to be you. trade paperback. So. Yeah. Go to you. Go to you. Luckily, Duke and Cobra are limited runs. Like, I think, like, five issues. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I thought I heard four, but I hope it's five because I don't see how it's going to wrap up in four. 
Yeah, neither do I. Uh, just, and then, and then, yeah, it's. I'm sure it'll um, lead into a, a regular series. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Right. Um, so we talked about. Well, we'll talk to Bobby about this actually because we talked about Energon Universe and some I kind of wanted to talk about just yeah. to circle back. And trust me, there was a million comments about who's your favorite faction. We can even do a lightning round at the end. I, I saved a lot of stuff, guys, questions and stuff. But you see Big Mercer there, right? He's uh, huge. Right. That could be Alan Rich Richson or whatever the fuck's his name. When did he, he, get, that name. When did he get what? He's not going to be Duke. What's up? What, when, what did did, when did Mercer get that huge? Was he always that big? Yeah. In the, in the movie, the cartoon. It was so you might see team. what made him leave the Vipers and go Joe. Damn. So my my question is to you guys is because I got a question for you and the chat. What designs, like what designs do you want to see from the comics into classified? And then Ooh. are these designs actually my roommate? He's a big nerd too. Shout out to Lance Paul, the traveling nerd. He said, are these designs that Skybound has? He says, are they pulled from classified pre-release? And we're not talking about the ones that are already out. We're talking about ones like though maybe this like red skull looking Cobra Commander. Was this something they got from Hasbro? Or are they do they have the free will to create that? And well, I well, hang on. That red skull looking Cobra Commander, that's from G.I. Joe 304, right? That's from the Hamas. Yeah, so I'm I'm so yes, we're doing doesn't... both. All right. So yes. All right. Let me make this clear. Yes. In this conversation, there's Energon Universe, which is Duke and Cobra Commander and Transformers and Void Rivals. And then there's yeah. a real American hero, which is separate continuity. But uh, I'm still curious about between the comics. And you also have this like mummified Cobra Commander on the right, too. Plus, look at Pythona and the Imperial Guards there, too, yeah, right? Yeah. So and I, um, I think that mask on Cobra Commander, oh, that's, a good solve, that's a good solve yeah. for the hood. So if they're not going to do the hooded, having a mask Cobra Commander like that, that's a good, like a side grade. Like that's a good uh, solve for it. So like just a different look. And there's a lot you can still do with that. Oh, I still smart. want Crake from the, um, the previous oh, really IDW cool. run. I still <laughs> want the other all the way Chrome the chrome cobra commander mm -hmm. that gets dome mm -hmm. shot from chuckles like all that spoiler alert um <laughs> yeah like man I, they could do a lot of that stuff right but i'm saying what is the likeliness of seeing these designs whether it's in the real american hero continuity or energon continuity that we haven't seen in classified <laughs> do we are we gonna see them in classified <laughs> oh my god that's fucking crazy <laughs> The that's, the awesome. commander. <laughs> that's goaded, bro. That's freaking goaded. All right, Baldi, <laughs> I gotta do this just for you. Although my face is blocked by dialogue. Baldi, so, well, well, we can move you. I can. No, I could always do this too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you need, yeah, yeah. you see. Poor yeah, little. You block, yeah, you, yeah. He did it for half a second. Oh okay. uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know. Thought he was done. All right, my. You, no, you're a rare breed, my friend. <laughs> I'm taking the shot, but now you can't see me. Okay, now you can. I can. I got you. That's for everybody. Bold. Drink. That's everybody. Bold. Everybody drink. That's for both. Hey, so, hide me. Watch down the Guinness. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this, Trav. I think Skybound was working with um, Hasbro because it's not like these books are being written. You know, the week before they come out, like these books have been done. A while in advance, I'm pretty sure that um, they've been working with Hasbro on these because, yeah, uh, I forget who said it, but the the Rock and Roll yeah, and Stalker buddy. are straight classified figures, like the tattoos and everything. Um, mm -hmm. Clutch in the Clutch, you know, straight out of you know. I think that we will. Yep. I think we'll see these. Either these are uh, figures that we'll see like in a year. Or maybe designs that got scrapped, uh, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Anyone Ooh, else? The ferret, the ferret oh. right there. Yeah, right. So look at these. Look at these, look at these cobra troopers. They're so. I'm sorry. Did I spec? No, that's fine. It's. I don't. But but to, I don't think that we'll see as much figure crossover from the real American hero comic. That's just my 
guess. I'll be surprised. I mean, you know what? That's the coolest stuff in it, though, right? Doesn't it? It has like new design, like more new designs where like Energon is like, we've seen it in classified most of it. But this, a real American hero, has some fucking cool shit that I, this mm-hmm. new, Chris Hell, Bunny, yeah. what is his name? Honeymoon or Money Whom or whatever. Someone help me. Honey, Money Hand? What's uh, it? Money Hand? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Who? So I can't, I'm not for sure. The artist, Chris. Someone oh, no. Google. I don't know. But he's amazing. I don't know how I'm feeling about the whole like uh, zombie storyline and the the bats. Like it's interesting. I'm down. Da- I'm, I'm reading it. I'm down with it right like now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> la 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 la. So look at these uh, upgraded blue enhanced blue ninjas. They're kind of combinations of like Toxo and Techno and regular Vipers yeah. and stuff really that's, that's like cool. this is you know if lenny saw this stuff he's like i gotta do it like this is like his warehouse he likes the like crazy sci-fi wacky shit too yeah we talk could about I mean, the artist. We should talk about the artist in the chat that's awesome i won't put yeah, any i'll posts. save all those comments i'll save all those but yeah, yeah. these fuckers or I can just post them right here you go brian had a nice Ooh, list apero lee j scott campbell r adams michael that's a goat, goat goat list right there. There. john that's romita list, jr bro. i still love john romita senior as well Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I I love Ramita Senior. Ramita Junior. I I still do. I still do love him. But um, uh, he's a cool guy too, man. He's oh, cool. he's a wonderfully nice guy. And then Ed yeah. McGinnis. Uh, but his What's art lately. Kind of and, is this you, Bobby? Is no, this tell you me, Bobby. Bobby? That's, me. That's me. And I got uh, I just had Ed McGinnis. I love Ed McGinnis's artwork. I met the guy. Totally nice dude. Uh, but like some new guys like Dan Moore and Bruno Redondo are killing it, killing it right now. Chris yeah, Sammy, I, I love his firepower. Remember uh, Claudio? Remember Claudio Castellini from uh, DC versus Marvel? Oh yeah, Castellini's awesome. Oh my goodness, there are so many. There are so many great artists. Like, one, it's, it's, those, there's one other Italian. I think he's an Italian guy. He drew the Secret War, the one Gabriel where. Uh, well, who is it? Yeah, Gabriel Delato. Oh my God, he's great. He's, yeah. he's a painter, like Alex Ross, but he's different. But yeah, that's he's, he's uh, such, so oh my so God, good. I love. If they make that series a movie, oh my goodness, it, it'll it'll kill all. But you know they'll mess it up. <laughs> and then I I do I you know I have to I we do I think we need to add uh Michael Vlad into that because Vlad is killing it as well. Vlad, also, yeah, Rick Lopez. He's gonna be in uh what is. KJ, what is Vlad? He's in a uh, oh, Massachusetts. Yeah, there you go. He's in a con. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, and my here's one of my favorites, Sean Murphy, the White Knight. Sean Murphy oh, is good. Yeah. I like his. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I just want to kind of circle back right here because we have a. I Rachel, we haven't seen you in a while. It's not How's Rachel. It it's Carlos. Oh, okay. Hi, Carlos. It's Whatever. It's, well, it is. it's Carlos. Either it's way. Carlos. Carlos is using this his lady's picture, little bastard. <laughs> all right, that, that's what I'm going to do on the next chat. Use some ladies' thing. So, the Cobra Commander looks cool, but the bot. Oh, I was. But I'm the just playing. Was Sorry. Like a cop out for the hood. It was like a cop out for the hood. Yeah, it could be. Maybe. Yeah, so. All right, like look at someone mentioned this earlier. Right? I saved your comment. Ooh, Where, remember the wet works? Where, where is it? I did save your comment, and now it's gone. Oh, Will's Patricia. Uh, Where did he Will's go? Will Patricia is awesome. How do you say his name? Will's? Oh, Will's I love it. I think it's Will's. Yeah. Will's. He's a nice guy. I've never been a, I, here's the Here's the thing. There are three artists. I've never been a fan of their work, per se, but their storytelling is bar none. Will's Patricia, Alan Davis, and Frank Quitely. Yes. Yeah, Frank Quitely is crazy. I, I'm not a huge fan of the artwork, but their storytelling is me neither. Is their storytelling is phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Did Frank, God. Did Frank, did Frank quietly do the Grant Morrison X-Men? Yep. Yeah, he did that. He did All Star Superman, my yeah. favorite comic book. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, did the, he, he did the um the one where the Justice League has to fight the Injustice Gang too, right? I Yes, it's like uh, Earth Two or something. Remember? Yeah, yeah. crashes on Earth Two. Yeah. Yes. That, yeah. He's he's got some. Ba- Everyone's huge in that, you know. Everyone's, yeah. Superman he, and Manhunter are freaking huge. Yeah, like I, they, 
I've never been like his artwork is and this and you know it's art subjective, but his storytelling is so compelling, so that like, yeah. he just draws you in. You're like, all right, like if you, I don't care if you can't draw, like, <laughs> well, well, I like it, but the story. <laughs> the wet works were those gold, those gold guys, right? Those. They were, yeah, it was like really. It, it was like liquid was, metal gold or something. And they were all yeah. like a. Like he was a, very like a, like a predator McFarlane. Game. He was McFarlane esque, but but crazier. So let me yeah. ask you guys this: yeah, yeah, yeah. McFarlane never really went away. Like he had McFarlane's military, he had the Halo figures, he had the NBA figures, and this thing, that thing, right? And then he gets DC Multiverse in 2020. So what do you guys think about McFarlane now with the DC Multiverse line, and even like the stuff he's doing with Spawn, Mortal Kombat, all that stuff, versus like say 10 years ago, 2014, 2015, the Posed figures like I have NBA figures where only the head and the arms move. That shit ain't a figure, but he was still doing those figures. He never really stopped. Yes, yeah, spec. So I was getting his figures during the pandemic when I started collecting again. I think I started with the the nightmare, the Bruce Wayne Batman in the the straight jacket with the severed Joker head in the mm -hmm. jar, the build a bane wave. Yeah, yeah. Last um, on Earth, and. And so I still have some of those. I sold a lot of them, but I, I kept those. Um, I feel like when, when, and this is knowing somebody that used to work for him, when he doesn't cheap out and when the effort is really put into the sculpting, there's some pretty gorgeous figures that that look great and can be posed and have nice articulation and whatever. But more often than not, and what really started turning me off, aside from the shitty distribution, when it came to certain figures like Killing Joke Joker or Bane or whatever, um, he rushes them, right? And that's like his strength and his weakness. So typical timeline to get a figure from concept to market, like from Hasbro, is somewhere between like eight and ten months or somewhere in there, right? And I guess McFarlane is like three months. Yeah. Get it, slap it together, paint it, get it on the shelf. And it just shows, right? Some, you know, reuse. I'm not going to complain about reuse because we all know it's part of the game. It's how he does the reuse where it's just slapped together or, you know, hey, we're going to do a very specific Batman or Superman but because I need to reuse these parts, it's not going to be completely accurate to the thing. And we're going to do this or the paint apps are going to stink or the, the head sculpts. Like when he does a great head sculpt, it's awesome. But 90% of the time, the head sculpts are wonky. Like I just bother. So, no, Spec, you, you touched on something like really big. So the first year of a tour kind of mood, first or second, first year, first year, because I remember uh, my top two figures of that year were McFarlane's Nightwing and his Batgirl. That those two were God tier McFarlane figures. Great face sculpt on both of them. Like that Batgirl face sculpt still hasn't been has is still untouched. I remember the Batgirl? Um, yeah, it was good. The posability was fantastic. Like I actually had Nightwing fighting Marvel Legends Daredevil. I'm like they could actually like oh actually could pose him really cool. Two years later, Gotham Knight comes out. And he really he does another Nightwing and another Batgirl, and they are the worst pieces of trash I've ever <laughs> seen. They are Rob Liefeld style figures. Anatomy, uh. faces all off, feet look like garbage. All right, they're just bad. And so I I don't I, and I posted in our chat. How is it that McFarlane can do one of the best figures and the worst figures of the same yeah. character? He just rushes. He just he rushes. Get it out the door. But but again, like that's his that's his pro as much as it is his con because everybody that buys the McFarlane figures and defends him are like, well, at least his stuff shows up on the shelves. At least you I know, get a card stand. It goes up for pre-order, <laughs> and we're finding it on the shelves next week. You know, it's like yep. he's just pumping it, pumping it out so that it's always going through the pipeline. KJ, go ahead. 
Uh, shout out to FC Viper. Thank you so much. And thanks for everybody who joined on the stream, the first episode last week. Great day to you. asked about that. The reason the stream is bi-weekly is because I am adulting hardcore. Like I have a lot of stuff going on in the real world. So I only get to plug into the matrix every so often. And I want to make sure that it's a good show. I want to make sure that it's smooth, that there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, as you saw, I'm Black Kingus for a reason. So it's not just the Joes. It is Masters of the Universe. It is McFarlane DC Multiverse imports, all that stuff. So last week was like perfect. It was like the the Leap Day reveals. I, I had to talk about that stuff. But later on, you'll see things. Um, it's going to be looser. It's going to be looser than typically what, say, Toy Kind of Mood is. Um, it's going to yeah. be basically just toy vibes. It's going to be so, like this. It's going to be like tonight. We're it's gonna be like this, side. except I can actually talk. So, <laughs> I haven't um, said anything. I've I been the quietest tonight. It's a joke, Moody. Come on, you know I love you guys, man. I'm quiet tonight. Tonight. I'm hanging out. I'm just drinking, watching yeah. you guys actively. So it's gonna be a lot of Guinness. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of IPAs, a lot of hazy IPAs. Um, you know, Shout out to Feces Viper. Shout out to Feces Viper. Feces Viper. Hey, that's Frank. He got home FC safe. He was Viper. driving in, in right. the rain, okay. man. Don't post for that, dude, man. He's so home anyway, safe. Yeah. He was driving home in the rain. Thank God yeah, he's yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody oh, be oh, safe oh. out there. But, but when it comes to this podcast, oh, and us talking it. about the toys, yeah. it's a really tight-knit community. So I always talk about how Moody talked to the manager at Target and got us all that Baroness. He had it down fucking pat. He knew the DCPI. He knew the motherfucker's name. I don't know these dudes' names. He was like, hey, Mario, it's us. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Moody, what's up, man? Yeah, man, I know you got six Baronesses, man. We were here first. We each would like one. Smooth. Oh, that was good. the smoothest. Shit wasn't even a toy hunt. I'm surprised they didn't funny. give this dude a back massage when he was done. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you gotta give Moody a back massage. So I been... know Steve would. Hey, right, Frank, you Munio, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Cheers to you. Yeah, cheers, cheers, guys. <laughs> Uh, all right, look, I will take control out for one sec because I want to finish up my Energon section so I can wipe that out. And then Energon. I got feet. I got feet to talk about. All right. Because that was I actually had feet two wonderful. segues. I'm like, which way do I want to go with this? We were talking about feet. I had a feet segue and then we we're talking about art, but it was skybound art. So I was like, well, it makes sense to go skybound art. So let's just cover this up because we had some comments about this with Tony. Tony, his name. Uh, da, 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 where the hell is it? <laughs> Blood Barons? Oh, uh, well, we got this. Blood has a team of his own. Yes, he does. But Ooh. he did. He did. Uh, oh, wait, where's the comment for Tony? Oh, wait, it was DWH. You got to start. Earlier, don't, you you gotta start here we go. You got to start him. Yep, there we go. I got it. Major Bloods, I'll do, Bloodhounds, like, I'll do Tony. Three, I'll do three of them. I'll, but well, damn. you do a custom. And who are Blood's you? Kinda, who are Blood's kind of expensive, ain't he? Well, right. you know, they'll, they'll do a retro Blood. We'll get another I need one. his there chest. I need his chest pieces and his helmet at least. You know what I mean? So. You got the infrared goggles already. We got those. So. Yeah. Well, so if you notice, some of them have shades and some of them have infrared goggles. They have all different kind of... Uh, stuff going on they they're all different one is a shoddy holy shit what no major blood's like 60 70 dollars you're right yeah see he's way he's expensive like, what? So. what just hey, dropped what just leaked what just leaked want to shoot, shoot me some <laughs> some fodder sorry. and i'll make them all for you bro <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> I was cool. looking for I was uh, looking for more leaks, more Walmart leaks. I was. But. I got you. <laughs> while we're at it, I, yeah. while we're at it, you know what? I'm gonna get we. I in case I feel bad if some of these folks. I think Toyamic left already, so actually we'll just have to get rid of that one. But um, Hasbro should could do annual vehicle subscription. Four vehicles. There we go. Full screen on this. Four vehicles per year, three hundred fifty bucks. But we know that one. The vehicles would suck. Would be a buzz bore or something. A uh, subscription oh. thing? No, what do you think? no. I'm so not, I hate the subscription model. I hate the fact that I've you know I have to do a subscription with like Adobe for Lightroom and Photoshop and oh yeah it, yeah, yeah. It's freaking uh, it's if just, you if you go back to CX six you won't need to you just have yeah, to downgrade then, your MacBook. <laughs> well, there yeah. there's one right there. Look, Lightfoot 
was with Shockwave with the drone. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to show his uh, comment. I can make a light the, and, the image there. And Moody, I, I want to touch on the Night Force sub team because what it did was it yes, aged let's up. Let's do it. Let's it do it aged up the fan base a little bit. So now you had those mm -hmm. darker colors and you had that different texture to go with military figures. And because you had all these bright day glow figures Neon. for the time. And then Night Force really That's made, gave it a, Night a darker aesthetic. Exactly. Yeah. So like Black all of those. Green. And if Walmart pays for that Night Force, if they pay for Repeater, they pay for Charbroil, they pay for all those Night Force figures, then Hasbro won't have to. That extends the line. And then you can go to Walmart and get your chocolate chip Eggo waffles and you can get your steakums and bakery rolls. Just no chocolate chip snake eyes. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I we got nice the ton of rat. I do a nice horse repeater, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's show you. We got you. We got you. We got you. Hold on. Here we go. Night Look at repeater. that. My dude, Night Tony. Force, Night Force repeater would be dope. That's yeah, just Tony, hey, how did you do that digi camo real quick? Um, you just, you know what you do? You don't worry about the sharp lines because you just like, say, I don't know, say this Jag, this little, um, what do you call that game? Not Jenga, but Tetris, uh, Tetris. Tetris, Tetris. Tetris. you just draw it. And then, and then with, with the base color, make your line All right. over the, you know, I mean, it's, it's a light color, it's a light color going over a dark color, but. With these Citadel and Vallejo, you, you know Vallejo, yeah. it'll uh, it'll work, and that's what got you know sharper lines. Look at the shoulder, you know. Look, man, you know you're missing out on a lot of money not working for Hasbro. Make some money, man. Oh, just lay me off, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, yeah, okay, yeah. Too, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Tony. We're going in another direction. Um, bye. See ya. Here's a severance package. And I'll be over there with. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. You know, don't tease us, uh, FC Viper. That didn't did it or did it or didn't. No, happen. no. That's no. Frank C. Night Force sneak peek just leaked. Kid, stop, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, Look at him. Sarlacc's gonna take a leak. I'm checking my Instagram, but it's nothing but Zendaya and Dune memes. So I'm not really finding anything. I gotta watch that part two. I've been yeah. waiting for part two for a long time. I gotta What's go too. This weekend I'm going. So. Gotta go this. I, hey, Bob Marley movie was dope. I liked it. Was it? That's kind of. Yeah. I'm. Was it? I, I want to watch really... One love. One love was good. It's. It's kind of. It's very spiritual. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I. I forgot how political he was, dude. But yeah, it was. It was. It was awesome. Oh yeah, all his oh, music yeah. is political. It's but... very political. Very of its because he was in that civil war in Jamaica, and it was crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. How about these bad boys? Spearhead and Max and Muskrat. We haven't talked about them yet in the Night Force. I got, I got some Night Force talk. All right. So I lived in Germany at the time when Night Force came out. Toys R Us exclusive. We didn't really have Toys R Us over in Germany, so I never had Night Force. A buddy of mine gave me his three and three quarter collection a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. Had the whale, had the headquarters, had Night Raven, had a Sky Striker, had the uh, the Defiant. Then he was like, hey, I've got a couple of these figures. I don't know what to do with them. And he handed me this figure in a package that I had never seen before. So I had to look up and see what it was. Night Force Spirit? Night Force Spirit. European. Wow. <laughs> wow. Badass. What? It's pretty clutch. That's badass. Not mint on card, but sealed on card. We... Sweet Still. on card. Still, looks man. Great. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. I want. You know what? That's a freaking great point. I. Whoa! What the hell? Empty bed. Empty Tony bed. didn't turn off his camera. <laughs> oh. I'm like. Like the hell? What's gonna go on over there? Now you can't watch? see what I'm doing right now. You can't see what yeah. I'm doing right now with my hands. To Tony, you know, Tony, if we, if we go desk. full screen, with the the we can't see. <laughs> hands no, hand I was going to ask. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys: Do you think we might go so far? Like we talked about this on the last show, actually, with Baldy. But to 
But Spec brought up a great point. Will it get to a point where they're going to do like European exclusives? Because look, we have Glenda. Glenda was not a U.S. release. Yeah, Brazil, but you know, people lost their shit well, with Glenda. For some, Force yeah, Force. but that was because it was during the whole, you know. Tiger I mean, Force Outback happened. was a European release also. Exactly, yeah. Well, what was that? Which one? Tiger Force Outback. He, he was European only. Okay, nice. Look at you. So as long as they oh. bring them states, like if they're going to do the throwbacks like that and bring them stateside, I'm fine. But if we end up in this world where it's like, no, you can only get this in, in Europe or wherever. Mm -hmm. no or the like the brazilian sub team or yeah. the like no i don't want to play that game that would piss off fred broca <laughs> fred moody broca. knows what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah i know that's my guy tony yeah no, um, such a vintage moody. guy he'll be like grumbling what up kj no i was just saying like and so how do you how are you liking how the comics are now compared to like what they were because for the longest time the only thing holding it down for joe media was comics right yep. we had there was this one storyline where like the joes were on the run they were like you know like they had to like hide or something like that because it was like remember that like when like yep. gr joe relaunched like with number one it didn't last long but no yeah mm -hmm. actually i gotta answer this question can we discuss mezco yes yes but not yet. Is that cool? <laughs> Can you hang around? We got Mezco. We got to talk Mezco because of Mezco Toys Fair. Mezco Dave Turtles. Right track. Over. But let's finish this comic. I've been trying to go through this comic thing for an hour and a half already. <laughs> so let's, this is what's great about this episode. We'll discuss uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? Help me, Bobby. That, that guy you bashed for like. Uh, Life 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 yeah, yeah. Life Belt. We'll talk about him in the middle of this. No, that's great, but it's all comics, right? So let's get through the, the comics because yeah. I want to know if you guys in the chat, I'm going to ask you guys questions. If you guys are cool with the designs from these comics, do you want a Serpentor Con? They got a Serpentor. Do you want a Serpentor Con? Do you want a trendy Baroness? Do you want a gruffy ass Duke? Do you want the, you know, yes. the facial hair, Brad Pitt? I don't Duke? mind. I don't mind. You I, want I that? Know. Yes. I, I know the old school. This is like updated newer. I'm all for it. Go ahead. You know, I'm, that's mm -hmm. so you're cool with it, Tony. You're cool, even yeah, though cool. you're a purist, like you were shouting yeah. out for Broca, but you're cool with some of the you want to see some of these comic designs as like, yeah, I'm cool. You know? I'm cool. Just think of the stuff that you can do with that when you have comics like that and you have the figures from the comic, you can recreate panels, you can recreate battles, like all that stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Classified Baroness rocks contacts and she's hot as fuck. <laughs> That's funny. All right, cool. So that was. The, I think we're done then. I think we we went through all the that, designs. That, we went through these. Moody. What up? That so dude's always so been hot. As fuck. Been hot as fuck. Damn good. What's up, Bobby? I said that Duke issue was so damn good. Oh yeah. Oh, the new one, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 For sure. Cool. Yeah, it's great. Oh, so my last question actually would be, do you think Classified should do an Energon? Like, you know how they're doing Energon stuff now with Walmart and everything? Do you think they should do like a sub-series in Classified for Energon, like the Snake Eyes movie? Or do you think they should just kind of subtly incorporate it? Or would you be cool with like the Ener Skybound logo and Energon logo, whatever, like? On classified, like how do you, are you guys? Like, what are you guys cool with? Mix Anybody it up. Can just... Mix it up. Sure. Yeah. Even though the Snake Eyes movie shit failed, do you think they would be apprehensive to do that though? Well, look at all That's the figures probably... they made from the Snake Eyes movie tooling. Like, how many times did that Akiko mold show up? Vipra, Blue Ninja. Great point. Also, I gotta switch rooms. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, also, the comic books are, are killing it right now. Like, literally just yes. killing it. Um, like, the Void Rivals, number one, they, they're they releasing their seventh print of number one. Seventh. Wow. That's epic. And, and, that's, and they're, they're, not, they're not saying that's the end of it. They might do ten reprints of that first issue. So, I mean, Hasbro would be smart to jump on it. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think Carlos, you came in late that we got the uh <laughs> or Rachel. Rachel Carlos. Sorry, should I just Carlos. say Rachel? 
Salinas. 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 Okay, Salinas. Yeah, we had, we had a, a photo. For those who aren't sure, it's the giant Mercer. But you guys were saying he was always big. I didn't. I never thought he was big at all. So it's a, that's news to me. But it's all good. All right. Here's a question. How about Colossus-sized oh. Mercer? But okay. Colossus-sized. <laughs> you could use the Colossus Marvel. How about Mad Hatter's flip or Kickstarter campaign? I don't know anything about it. So I mean, neither, brother. Yeah, Brian, bring back Resolute. Hell baby. yes. Hell to the yes. Resolute. Love Resolute. I should just focus on Resolute Customs. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What would you use for uh, Dalton too? Dalton's daughter. Oh my God. Uh, was that is that supposed to be his daughter? I thought so. I thought that was just they just like swap genders and you know. All that shit, but I don't know. She's a she was a little she was a little thing just sitting down. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta I gotta talk about this really quick. So these are mantras of mine. So I was asking that too. I know which one is on there. Uh KJ, rock what you got. (laughs) So what that is is this the first one. If you have if you have figures that you love, you already have a collection that you enjoy. It could be um, wrestling. It could be Joe's. It could be Transformers. Right. Don't just worry about chasing shit. Enjoy the collection you have because that reflects your own taste. That reflects who you are as a person, right? It could be the simplest thing. It could be the littlest thing. But if it brings mm-hmm. you joy, if it brings yep. you happiness, don't worry about focusing on the things you don't have that you missed out on, that sold out on you, or that you need to toy hunt, Ross hunt, whatever. Rock what you got. Enjoy the things that you have because they're a part of you. And it was your mm-hmm. taste and your viewpoint and your mindset that got you the collection that you had. That collection is an extension of you. And you're sharing that with friends of yours. These guys right here, my toy kind of mood dudes, my toy mm-hmm. homies. Not only did they get me through a fucking plague, but in a way, they made it cool just to be more me to the point where I'm getting like mm-hmm. Batmobiles and shit, where I'm getting. Clamp champ and snout spout next week and whatnot. It's like, but enjoy it. Don't be so focused on the latest and greatest shit. Yeah, shout out to Skeletron, shout out to all that stuff. But don't be so focused on the the new stuff, the stuff that you don't have, that you Almost. don't appreciate what you do. Appreciate yeah. that. That's really what your collection is for. And that's the best way I feel to enjoy your collection. You know, with the Joneses. Yeah, we'll go to Bobby and then I'll answer you. Ask you a question. Go ahead. That being said, uh, while my, while my wife does like you, she also hates you all because, uh, because enabler, of, we're enablers because <laughs> of the show. She's like, What the fuck did you buy this time? Like, nothing. Um, Tony said superpowers are cool, so I got some. <laughs> I had to get Pat Ma- Look, I'm sorry. I had to get Pat McAfee. I love Pat McAfee. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, what are you doing, cool man? What He's you huge for you. Yeah, yeah, he is. Like, nothing- well, we might as well say this now, Bobby. Might as well say this now. If any one of the 65 people watching right now, maybe one of you, likes wrestling at the very end of the show, when the rest of these guys don't like wrestling, go. I will stick around with whoever wants to stick with me and talk about the new ringside exclusive oh, nice. Drops. We're gonna talk wrestling, but okay. the very, very end. I don't know. I, I, I need to get that rock. I do. Uh, it's on Walmart. It's on Walmart. I, I, is that Target? I know. Well, I, I have the Ultimate Rock. It's both now. It was Walmart exclusive, but now it's everywhere. It's yeah, that Target. I, I, I need uh, uh, okay. the uh, I have, I have, I have the Ultimate Rock, and I just can't. I don't know where I put him. No, dude. Fuck you for putting those for putting the Travis. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's where I, I, I need to find it. But no, I got that rock. I've got that rock. I've got that song called. I bought the goddamn ring, okay? Because I, I remember like Travis going, "Oh, I'm like, oh, Travis had the ring. That'd be really cool." Now I have all my figures in there. I'm like, okay. Yeah. We're losing Tony in fact because we're talking. Look, about look, no, no, they made we're an, losing. We're losing viewers. They made an action figure of Tony right here. Why is that me, dude? I'm not cold. He's he's cupping. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We have a question that we have to answer. All right, What's so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this one up, and we'll, we'll this was gonna be our wrestling segue, but we'll just talk about Sarge. So shout out first of all, Sarge. Sa- shout out to Sergeant Slaughter 
He has a WWE biography on A and E. You can watch it now or on demand or whatever Ooh. on the app. It's uh, it's there's a lot of Joe on it, right? There's a lot of GI Joe on it. It's not just his wrestling. Supposedly, there's a lot about it with him at Joe Fest from last year. And so, segue in that Joe Fest this year, he's there. Shout out to Ed Schumacher. Shout out to Joe Fest. Toy Con of Mood will be there. We've been talking about it for a couple weeks. We will have a panel there. We may have two panels there. So be careful. Watch out for Joe Fest. Are we going to Joe Fest? We're not only going, we're running that motherfucker. No, I'm kidding. Ed <laughs> runs the motherfucker. But we're going to have a good-ass time with a lot of good people, and we're going to have some great panels with some of the people that often frequent this show as guests or in the chat. So stay tuned. We can't announce it yet, but I get to meet. No, not just me. Tony and who else? Baldy and Punk and whoever else didn't get to go last year. We get to meet Sergeant Slaughter for the first time. And I'm sure we've all been right? dying to meet all been all been dying to meet this guy. I was jealous of Zazel. Shout out to him, Sergeant Slaughter's Slaughter's house, Zazel's Clubhouse. Shout out to Toy Connection. Shout out to those guys because they got to meet Sarge live in the flesh. I know for Zazel it was a big, big fucking deal. He had a channel dedicated to him forever. And he got to meet him, and I get to meet him too. One of my heroes, all your heroes, I'm sure. So that's it. Joe I'm jealous. Fest, you suck. You suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. Kurt Angle's music. All right. What's up, Bobby? You about to say something? Oh, no. I'll, ask, I'll, I'll, I'll just Google. I was going to ask you. I'm only on one Google panel, it. right? I'll just goggle it. What's up, Tony? I don't know what panel I'm on. Am I on one panel or two? One. See, tell and we got the final Punk guest. Seems to think I'm on the panel with all you big YouTuber guys. I'm a little YouTuber. You, I don't know. After that last review you did, oh shit, you're, you're moving up. The vibe go. So shout out to uh Tony's figs on YouTube. He did a review of his Night Viper custom, and it has like two thousand views, bro. Good, congrats on that. Thank, thank you. Congrats on that. It was like the second greatest debut ever because KJ had the greatest debut ever with the Blade Select, and it was four three point eight. No, 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 crazy. No, Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I don't worry about the view count. I don't worry about that. I just like having fun Art. with you guys, and I like yep. having fun talking with the community and whatnot. I'm grateful and I'm blessed. And the moment I start chasing that fucking algorithm, I'm like Skynet. I'm just like, yeah, same here. Oh, yeah. That's like, don't worry. I don't even worry about that. I don't even trip on that. I'm Dude, just, it makes I'm no sense. I've got, got Punk and uh, Moody looking at my count, and I'm like, okay, don't don't be like them, Tony. Don't be like them. <laughs> well, especially it's, don't it's be like, like Punk. Especially I'm don't just, be like I look at Punk's what? numbers, but I don't care what he talks about. He's like, you shouldn't do this as a topic. And I'm like, whatever. I'm talking about what I want to talk about. You talk about what you talk about. If you get more views. Congratulations! If I anywho, congratulations, Tony, on a splendid launch yes. of the YouTube yes. channel. My yes. thank you. Yes. yes, exactly. Thank you so much. All it's right. fun. It's Enough fun. Thank you for all the help voice. from KJ Moody yeah. Punk, especially. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't no, wait. Plus. Viper Island's going to be on the next episode next week. Oh my yeah. god! Viper, shot. Viper, Viper Island's Island. on KJ's. Just KJ episode two. Viper Island's a big guest, right from Canada. <laughs> Liam, Liam exposed. You're a dick, Moody. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's yeah. talk about this. God damn it. Let's talk Let's about talk fan, baby. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about fan, baby. Don't forget, we got to swing back to Mezco for Damon. We do. Okay. Oh, we're not um, done. Hey, we, hey, we got to. Yeah, we got to do that. We're, we're So we're done our night four stuff. So for those who missed it, I just go like this really quickly. This came out. This was leaked. And this is so far, this is the only leak. I'm shocked. I thought we were going to get like 20 leaks while we're on the show. It didn't happen. So this is it. We got the Night Force Shockwave, at, at, we believe. And, um, you know, who knows? So that's the detail on that. But anyway, we're getting into the Vamp. And then we got Airborne. So the Vamp comes out next week. Whose wallets are getting demolished? All of our? Mine. Oh, mine. Yeah, mine. I had to cancel Vamp because I'm broke as hell. So. I hear you. And it's sold out. So I'm going to have to wait. Hopefully it comes back in stock so I can get it now. It will. My question to Stanley is, are you, where is he? Oh, no. You're not starting him? 
No, I mean, I mean it got to the point where I, I had too many things to start. Because this is supposed to be a Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it just got out of hand. We're also hanging out, too. It's hard to do both. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. All right. I was going to be a dick and say okay. Super Chat. That's what that's for. Because every other channel I watch, in order to get a shout out for something they want to promote, they have to pay. But we're, oh. you can share your link because we're a toy kind of mood and we're a nice channel. And we already got jobs and we make money. So we don't need that money. But if you want to give us money, that's cool too. <laughs> I think that was before. I like the way you did that. Kickstarter is like brilliant. What's up? That Mad Hatter Kickstarter. It's for it's for a character called Flipper, and it's it's like a Motu style figure that's a flipper, it, you know, an action figure flipper. And that's it's, hilarious. the concept behind it's what the fantastic. Okay. It's hilarious. You have to look it up. I have to. So, Stanley, are you the Mad Hatter? It sounds like he is not, because he says invite Mad Hatter. Yeah, but he could be like invite me and he's speaking in third person trying to be incognito and cute <laughs> anyway share the link we'll post it rip my yes. wallet yes and then my let's wallet, take a guess let's take a guess bastard i'm staring at april 4th what are we what are we going to see entertainment earth on this kj <laughs> kj <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna get um, some of the stuff that uh, were some of the visual uh, renders. We don't always. I was even see that, that comment. That's the funny thing. I didn't even see that I fucking just comment. Don't get it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I just see it. I just. Hey, KJ, you I have the power, down. so I can show if that. You look down. I'm gonna call on you. I'm just this joking. Was hilarious. So I anyway. Know. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm at, I'm we're gonna we're gonna get some stuff that's gonna skip the digital renders. So they <laughs> prime us with I digital like renders, that. Doc, Jinx, Naga High, and then we get the figures. What's gonna happen next right. ain't no digital renders. So it's not gonna be the Cobra Ferret and the retro car backs. They're just gonna drop some shit on us that we don't even see coming. It could be Night Force, it could be Python Patrol, it could just be some new characters, it could be Raptor, it could be Alpine. It's, but I think that's what they're going to do. Sometimes they tease us with the renders, and sometimes they don't. They just go straight to figure. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a, a link, but why hey, am buddy. I get, oh, 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 okay, so I'm going to post the link. Is that there what we're go, doing? Buddy. I sent you the link over private. All right, so then we do this. This is, is, for, this this is for Moody right here. Oh, wait, I put in the wrong thing. I don't care what Punk says. Ah! Is, right. is it going to be so much fun rooming with you guys at freaking Joe Fest? Oh my God. Well, you guys, uh, all you in the chat, I'll... the rest of you in this freaking uh, live stream, I have to room with Punk and Moody. That is going to be insane. Well, they're they're gonna gonna be in a room together? together for how I'm many? A regulate, I'm going to regulate both of you motherfuckers. Three nights. He's a tough guy on the internet. You'll see when we meet. Hey, person, he's a straight edge. He doesn't drink. Me and Moody will be. He'll drunk. give me hugs and he'll be my best friend. I know how this works. I'm just curious <laughs> who's going to end up being the little spoon. I'm the I'm the big spoon. No matter what. It's Tony. He's the little spoon. So look at this. They're there it is. There's a Kickstarter. I'll big, spoon him. I'll big spoon him both. So a uh, war chess is going to be at uh, oh, God, Joe Fest. Yeah, it. come say hi. Come come to the panel and and meet up. Johnny Reno. Johnny Cage's custom Cage's customs, baby. All right. So I think we're I'm good with this man. How about Airborne? Shout out to Ratface. Ratface Woo! did a review. Mine Airborne is on the time. way. And so Mine is too. Moody. And so is Punks. From where? Mm -hmm. CMD store. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. That's not la, 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 la. Did you come oh. with Maple Syrup? Oh. <laughs> eh? Are you gonna give him the Crimson Guard gun, the CG gun? I will. Bayonet. I'll have a gridiron gun for him. You know I do. There, but that one, the bayonet gun, the yes, one that the, the one he the made for the Crimson AR Guard is the yeah. one that belongs with Airborne. Yeah. Can't wait for him. You know, I didn't really, I wasn't blown away, but then now the more I'm seeing it, I'm really? like, really? Yeah, I, I would, 
I, you know the, me, I look them all over, all and he color. looks really good, dude. And that yeah. whole harness yeah. is just not for just a parachute only. It's so yeah. he can, you know, repel out of the helicopter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got eight different looks in his face with all the options, with the visor. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, Goggles. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's oh, got, yeah. well, he's got yeah. the night vision the... goggles and those other Oops. goggles. Yeah. So oh, sorry, but they did a really good job with my boy Franklin here. They did a really good job. Shout out to the Joe team. Mm -hmm. Look at what Woody said. And his name is Woody, though. <laughs> Woody, Woody, right. Woody Triple Deuce, you are a, a crazy man. Woody's good people. I'm just you know, playing. He's awesome, dude. He's a cool, cool, out, cool motherfucker. Yeah, he is. I'm not allowed within 200 yards of a church or a school. I don't too, oh, man. I don't, I don't want to know. And a gun I don't want to know what happened either, man. You're crazy. Anyway, go ahead, Moody. No, that's it. I'm I'm good. I'm good with Airborne. I just wanted airborne to show it shit. and say, hey, it's Airborne. Airborne, one of my favorite mailbox. ones of all time. Yeah, man. Hey, mm -hmm. Tony, could you pretty please get your Airborne? Thank you. You're the man. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So I got solo. something for, when we're done with airborne. I got something for Bobby. I know he's been waiting in the pocket, so I got something for him. Oh, Love it. Shout out to Tony. Shout out to Johnny Reno Cages Customs. You guys make good figs, man. Thank you. It's Oop. nice and smooth. That's the weapon that comes. It's supposed to be with. Uh, and that's from Bad Mother Tattoos and Custom. Bad Mother Tattoos. Where did Head Sculpt from? Head Sculpt is Mark Ruffalo from the MCU. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I put him it's under the gridiron helmet, and he looks pretty, pretty uh, cool to me. So I, I see Bobby yawning, and usually he leaves at two hours, so I'm going to go to him right now. Oh shit! It's already ten for Bobby bedtime. Hey, bro. I got you, bro. It's Eleven o'clock. All right. Oh. We talk to these. We talk to these. We're talking to everybody. Anybody could jump in, but specifically, I was thinking about you because we talked about these boxes last week, and um, you know, it was the hot topic. Like on our Instagram, it was the most reacted. Like it was like, don't look at your likes, but when you get two hundred likes for a box post, and you usually don't get two hundred likes, it was. It kind of ringed out to me not as like oh we got amazing views it was more like wow people really care about this topic right it's sure like that's, what, that's what i'm looking at too it's, it's that's it's what i look at what do people care about right yeah. so that's that's the thing people yeah. care, at least the people in our circle they so, care I'm about these boxes these, these fans yeah Woo! so my question is to you the boxes they didn't get a hundred percent destroyed some people did like it they liked the compact that they, they were compact they said it's sleek they don't mind having the art on the side and my question is to you, what do you think the team morale is at? And you, we all know Emily, Lenny, and Tony, they're always good. But whenever there's something like negative, I'm wondering what you think their team morale is based on these boxes and in just maybe the reveals in general. The reveals were great and I think widely accepted, but the boxes weren't. How do you think they felt like based on the, the response of these, these boxes, the packaging? The team, the G.I. Joe team, how they the felt? The G.I. Joe team, right? Hasbro, how do you think they feel when they read that people are not thrilled with this? You know like what? Oh, that's a great question. So here's the thing. I, I, I don't know how much input, like, they have in the boxes. That would be a great question to, you know, ask Lenny. Like, how much input do you actually have on these boxes? Because I think, like, Lenny and Tony's main focus is the figure. Does the figure look good? Yes. These figures all look amazing. Emily's job is, hey, you know what? I'm going to take these. My, my job is marketing. Get you pumped and excited for said figures. I think for them, it's like, you know what? Fuck the boxes. Honestly, I think I think in their head, like, listen, whether you are in a, a Exactly, pin, Jeremy. Whether you are in a box, uh, an <laughs> inbox collector, or you are an open box collector. Either way, these figures look amazing. I don't. I maybe it's like the people like who like have to design the boxes and like here's what we did. And like you, we asked for new box. 
we ask for new boxes and you give us Walgreens bullshit, right? Like no, that, like the, for them, like if you're watching this, I apologize. Like it's not your fault that you made shitty boxes. It's not. I mean, I'm <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like Black Series boxes. It, I mean, they're smaller. They're smaller. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just yeah. I, I think the higher ups came down like, okay, you know, the fans don't want this. Okay, the fans don't want that. Okay, trying the fans too hard. want this. You know, it's it. it <laughs> um, okay, I keep my shit in box sometimes, so you know, whatever. Yes, anyway, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. But but it, it's, I think the the box design team <laughs> maybe took a hit on this one. But you know what? Here's the thing: it's not their fault because literally. Fans are like the children, are the, the kids in The Simpsons. What do you want? We want it soft but hard. We want it, you know, uh, squishy with buttons. With so you don't know what you want. No, we don't. Like the fans have gotten so many different boxes that Joe's just like, hey, there's no symmetry. There's no symmetry, no synergy, you know, between the boxes. Yeah. But, but I, I, as much as I want to put this on the box design team, like, what did, what were you thinking? I put this more on it's the fans. Higher up. I put this more oh, on the, the fans. fans. Oh, so why? Because okay. so like, why? We got the initial GI Joe boxes, okay. But then Hasbro, you know what? We're gonna go environmentally, and we're gonna give you really cool box designs. Awesome. Well, then it's like, but we want to see the this. Well, we want this. But we want we want that. We don't want that. But we want this. But we don't want that. But we don't want this. But we want that. But we want this. And it's like, pick one fucking design. They're trying to please everybody all the exactly. time, and they can't. You can't. You can't. Just leave it alone. You know. Look, I mean? here's, Just leave a, it here's alone. the thing: when you are intimate with someone, focus on that person. The minute you're getting into an orgy, you know what? Someone's not going to get pleased. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. You're welcome. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold hold on, because there's two comments here that this is they're missing. I think they're missing the point. Go for it, Moody, and uh, thank you for keeping an eye on that chat. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, yeah. The chat has been great tonight. And um, yeah, now I can't awkward. fucking... You guys are asking me to star shit. There's like 18 things starred. It's worse. I know. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't... I'm like, uh, fuck, I can't find it. And it was actually Ian. Oh, here we go. Andrew. I can't imagine the, how marketing people muscle through. It's not them. Emily and Lenny and Tony. Now, Emily, not so much nowadays. But they keep up with, they keep up with the community. And Punk with Toy said, uh, Lenny doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have a say. But have how say. do you think? Uh, what I'm saying is that the people on the front lines, which was in the comments, how do you think they feel about the reception? It doesn't mean they have to do it. They don't make the decisions, they don't make the boxes, right. but they're okay. on the front lines and they do right. talk on social media with the fans. So, on, they so on, that, yeah, on that point, on that point, Travis, I think it's one of those things where you see your friend get dumped and you're like, oh, I feel bad for them. I'll go make them feel better. Right, like their pe their friends are getting like shed on because of the, the bad designs. All right, I'm gonna make them feel, but I don't think I don't think Lenny uh, and crew like take this to heart. Now, what I will say, and we've talked about this before, is that the people who like Emily and and like Dan, right, who have to contend with the toxic fandom shouting at them, like they make the decisions. That is where like I I. I will make fun of certain things, but I will never trash the people behind the certain things unless they're like mm -hmm. the stockholders, then fuck them. But sure. it's just, it's just like Dan, they ain't going to do so much, but they're acting like he's running Hasbro with Marvel Legends. Right here, right, right here. This comment right here, right yeah. here. This is the comment That's of the night. Fair, Todd. Exactly. Bad. And the crazy thing is we had 65 to 80 people watching us and we love Joe and the people that complain about it are getting three. You know, I'm just saying facts are facts. 300 people watching them. So the toxic fan base toxic is fan. not helping. They're attracted to negative energy. So why would, as a YouTuber, why would you not talk negative about a company? You know, because you could collect your Hyatt toys and your joy toys and bash another company you don't spend money for and make money on that because you have 300 people watching giving you super chats. 
Right. Right. dollars for me to say, right. fuck Hasbro. Here we are yes. being fair, critical, right. talking about what we want to talk about, being nice, but seeing both sides. We haven't say got one shit. fucking super chat tonight. I'm just say got the shit. fucking truth. Say that so shit. You're like, fuck. <laughs> so... Yeah, and 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 we've talked about this before, before Trav. And uh, a wonderfully said, wonderfully well put. But like we, you've talked, you and I've talked about this. KJ, we talked about this before. Romo and Spec, we've talked about this before. That you're right. The negativity when we when we have had those clickbait titles. Because you'll message me, do I'm going to try something? Do go for it. Why I'm like, I don't give a shit. If you have an idea, run with it. And you'll have like this, like you know, Hasbro canceled. Our show lights up. Why? Because like, oh, they're gonna shit on Hasbro. I'm like, oh no, we're not. We're not. We just want to. We just wanted to pull you in. You look at some of the most toxic videos on YouTube. Millions of views. Millions. Then they just like there's like the 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 worst people. But when you when you look at and this is why when you as a poli sci major people have switched from you know one side to the other because like oh let me go to the money let me follow the money the negativity. Will always bring that in, and that's one of the things that, like, honestly, I do love about this show is, yes, we will rag on things sometimes, with, but with a good reason. And if people are assholes, we will jump down their throats. But nine point nine 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 ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, we are very very fair. It's you know, it's reality TV yeah. mentality. The the characters you're on a reality show and if it by any means follows a more documentary style and not just a complete scripted fake bullshit mm -hmm. which is what most reality is anyway the the even temperament characters cast members usually end up getting cut less and less and less and they start pushing the more dramatic more outgoing characters and that like that's that's all you see you just see the the anger and the hate because that's what sells if there's no so, drama then nobody why cares. do it right so that is that you brought that up back. so ash and i do watch the bachelor and bachelorette why because it's trash it's trash but it's so fun because it's trash. It's trash. But here's the thing. Here's what we said because we also watch <laughs> love is blind we watch all those shitty reality dating shows because we don't have to date anymore, and we're so fucking thankful for it. <laughs> but, yeah, you lucky fuckers. <laughs> but, but here's the thing: we know who is going to stay longest, who brings the drama, because the the, the 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 nice girl, you know, like we'll make it like you know, it's like hometowns, and my my next she goes, "Who the fuck's this bitch?" Andrew, I don't know. Oh, thank her. you, Andrew. Oh, thank, thank you, Andrew. Andrew. Oh, yeah, I love that. Andrew, thank you thank very you. many You're things, man. Thank you, thank you. But <laughs> great comments all tonight. Thank you so much. Positive, positive super people, right? In this, you're supposed to read the super chat. Positive exactly. super people in this YouTube group. I enjoy you all, and I enjoy all of you uh, in the chat tonight. It, it's uh, awesome, and I, I'm so sorry. I have 20 starred comments, but like. We just got to go with the flow and we'll bring it. We'll try to bring it back up. A lot of the stuff back up. Yeah. Let's have a break and bring them back if you want to. Yeah. yeah. But no, like literally like, you know, who's going to like the last the longest in the fucking kids are the most the, who brings the drama, who brings the drama. And you know what? They're the ones that were like, actually like look up on Instagram, look up on Twitter. What is this bitch? Doing? What is it? What is she doing? What is she saying? Oh, right. let, me see. let me see. What are the fans saying? Oh, they're they are they're trashing this. This girl is horrible. Okay. And just I'm like, we're like, she is a trash panda. She's horrible. This girl's a oh, whore. The fans agree with us. Oh, the fans agree with us. Awesome. This dude's an asshole. Shark Shout eyes. out to Shark Eyes. Shark Eyes, dude. We got to get you on the show. He did a metalhead review. He's an awesome one of the best reviewers we got going on. Was a great guest. My buddy uh, dude. last week on Punk with Toys with Tony. So. Yeah, go go check him out and his channel, Shark Eye Toys. So, shout out to you, bro. You know what? Shark makes a great point there. Shark makes a great oh. point. <laughs> Look at this. He just came in right when we, we we went positive, happy, talking about just making fun of people in in a good way. And man, we just went off. And here you are. <laughs> What's up, Toy? Bounty Hunter. Um. <laughs> no, Shark Shark makes a great point. 
Like you need to hold your 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 whatever you love to the like hold it to the hold this feet yeah. to the fire, right? If if you love Marvel Legends, if you love Star Trek, if you, Star Wars, if you love wrestling figures, well, whatever it is, you want it. Like it's your it is your sports team. When my team does bad, wait, what? Why aren't you making the team better? Why aren't you making? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna cut my favorite player, but raise prices. What are you doing, right? Like same with same with Hasbro, same with Mattel. Like if you're going to make my figures twenty five thirty dollars, but just give me a figure and nothing else. Time out. We need to have a we need to have a little come to Jesus meeting, right? But if you're doing it right, GI Joe, or you're giving, or you okay twenty five thirty bucks, but then you get like all this shit. All right, all right point to you right it's just you need to hold them accountable but but not shit on the people doing it mm -hmm. like, look at these these pictures are amazing yeah, yeah. they're kicking they're kicking ass so the yeah this going. was the do would you agree this is the strongest wave of figures they've had yet it seemed that way when, no, when we did mean. last week mm. last week we did the whiskey last week we did the whiskey thing and I and then like everything almost got like four and a half out of five almost every figure. And then when we did the rankings on Toy Down, or when I did the rankings on Toy Domination with that crew, every we like I was like, how did this not make my top five? I give it a four and a half. Like I don't know. Do you, I don't how know, about when they when they made the dreadnoughts? Yeah. The dreadnoughts set everything on fire. It made the streets go crazy for a good long while. The dreadnoughts, Hawk, Helix, yeah, I I give it to that. This is still a great wave. Don't give me wrong. Wave. Um, guys, I had a question for y'all. Um, what way was the uh like the shipwreck and uh who else was in the shipwreck? That was a great wave. Rock and roll. Oh, no, Rock you guys know more than I do. That was a great one too. That was great. That that's my that's probably my favorite way. This is great. This Don't get me wrong, better, but not not. It's like those uh, are probably the two best. Yeah. Yeah, this is, and this I agree. Is best, this is this one of the best the things here. Yeah, and we could be mad at stuff like this, and that's the thing. We're not going to be like, we could say f words and call shit dog shit because we've gotten the gummy weapons that are dog shit, and we've gotten mistakes that are that happen. And a lot of times, it's cost. It's a lot of times, and then it's that's not true. like Lenny's a hundred percent perfect. And I'll tell him, and he's one of my good friends, but it's like he might. He might make mistakes as well. He's overworked, whatever. But he might also say, due to cost, we could only put the shield on one hand. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, with there's so many things that go into figures, especially in a large scale. You're not only making one figure; you're making hundreds. It's a it's yeah. a billion dollar yeah. company. Or like a Kickstarter, you're making five figures or one figure. You have right. the, yeah. your whole yeah. life to make them. Big exactly. They make one figure. They've got to make sure. What else can we use from this guy that we made and he's new or whatever for how many other figures we got? Right. And, and 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 up till now, I mean, they've done I'm sorry, but they've done great with the reuse to me. They have. I mean, I'm like not mad. At, I can call it out and say, ooh, that's his part, that's Doc's part, that's Shockwave mm -hmm. or uh uh shipwreck's parts. That's it. I don't my, I'm just saying. I'm playing trivia with it. I, I love it. It's, it's fine. I mean, I don't, the, the reuse is everyone, everyone's going to, every line is going to have reuse. Yeah. It's just, right. it pays for them all. It. And it's like, hey, you can use shipwrecks pants for Doc. Uh, That fits. So why not? Look, man, Ryu and Ken, that's like the perfect example of reuse. What more do you mm -hmm. want? They want everything. I get it. But you got to be realistic about this stuff. Right, Footloose you, is going to have reuse. Repeat. You gave reuse. me, you gave me the segue I wanted. I wanted to talk Jada, and I was talking about feet. You guys were talking about feet, and I said <laughs> we got a feet segue. But then Joe, Joe was hot. Comics Loving were hot, it, so I was like, dude. let's go with that. Jada toys. So we got to talk about the second best toy line for twenty five dollars. Yes, maybe. You know what I mean? The best. I. It's undisputed at this point. I think if you're yes. classified, reigns number one in our wheelhouse. But Jada toys. Out of toys. fucking nowhere in the last year is number two. Killing it's it. above, it's above the others in my opinion at least. But man, yeah, you, you guys are for that. I know we got spec all up in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha yeah, yeah. <laughs> ha. Hold on a second. Once, <laughs> once, once again, 
this these are twenty five dollar figures. And again, like Dawson, sure you get you do get a bit more, but like yes. right, you got the Hadouken Done. stand and the alternate. Like I don't understand why Hasbro can't do that. Like Beta is smaller, fine. Hasbro no. is a multi billion dollar company. Well, Boom. It's his, but Bobby, here's the thing. Jada only has these Mega Man, Chester Cheetah, and Universal Monsters. They're the studio, a fraction of Hasbro, Mattel, even NECA, and McFarlane. All they have to do is focus on these right now. That's it. That's yeah. it. And that and that Chester Cheetah is fire. Yep. And that Mega like Man that is Man. sick. I like that, Moody. So when you have, have a screen, baby. But think about animals, animal warriors of the kingdom. Or like smaller yeah. lines when you can just focus on just a handful of figures. Mythic legions, mythic legions, they can Savage pour Christmas. all that detail in tech because it's just a handful of on oh, spec. Let's show that, right? So it's like it's just a handful of figures, but they can get it right. Extra face plates, extra heads, extra hands. That's a damn good camera spec. Mine sucks. So when you can focus on your figures like that, that allows you to do. Attention to detail, Dalsim with the elongated limbs and bison. It doesn't take much. An extra head, fists, right? The effects. I pre-ordered the Valzad from McFarlane. No extra hands, no extra expression. He's using fists on the cover of the comic book, and we don't get fists. No flight stand. Wow, McFarlane makes it hard weird. to collect that shit, right? So you got to give people their value. You gotta give people their value. This is, but these are some good-looking figures right here, man. And yeah, hanging them with these guys, yeah, you might buy some toys. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely. Tony, gonna buy Tony it. says gridiron. Take a shot. I hold just on, said hold it. On. Let Bobby. Hold on. Let me show Bobby's real quick. Hold on. Von Cannon. Von Cannon. I just. Moody, hit it. That Moffex. We go back and forth like ESPN, baby. I got a custom show. Fire and ice. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Get Dude. It. Boom. Dude, Hobby Search, Hobby Search had some Moffex cheap when it was all said and done, like 60, 70 bucks. I couldn't get them though, because I'm broke as hell. I don't know, Tony. What's that? Tommy. That's, that's Tommy. No, that's gonna be that's gonna be a Billy. Or Billy, that's what I mean. Billy. Billy. Oh, Billy. No. Billy, oh Billy! Listen, Billy, man, we do huh? this. We wow. do this because we love it. Oh, go ahead, Moody. I'm we sorry. Love no, no, I no, I'm, I'm just like all I said was Billy. That's all I said. I was just like Billy. We do it because we love it. That's the thing. Billy Kessler. Yep. I wasn't even gonna get these, and this one's probably my favorite so far. Yeah, yeah, that one's good. I can't find them, man. Where the fuck do you find them? Wow. Amazon. <laughs> just okay. Just do Mega Man and then Viper. Yeah, the new boxes are boring. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I just, I miss the artwork is dope, but I don't miss the artwork from every different weird freaking artist ever. I don't like, I didn't like care for those ones, but I mean, the ones with the, you know, the figure and the artwork in the background and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They're pretty, they're pretty good prices too. I mean, if you look, you can get the Mega Man stuff for $19.99, but I paid $22.23 for those. Yeah. We should do a WWE GI Joe crossover. I've been wanting that my whole life. Besides Sergeant Slaughter, you know what I mean. I've been like wanting that, and we're gonna at the very end. I'm talking WWE because I know everyone will leave, so it'll be just me with no viewers. We're gonna talk <laughs> WWE. Stay tuned. And uh, I have to talk love, about it. Love, bro. Oh look, we got some. We got some WWE people in here. Look, what Slay Tanica. I love the name. Six six six. New new person here. Oh. So a little yeah, bit of Slayer, a little bit of what's up? <laughs> Read what they're saying. Is it WWE is putting them off? Yeah, right. Well, here's one. Right. Because right. <laughs> we're talking about it. But WWE is three different strata. I'm right? down it's with the the ultimate, But it's like the ultimate edition, the elites, and then the basic. I like the elites. Yeah. It's not but basic I, anymore. It's main event. Right. I like the elite. They call it main program. event. They added articulation. They're no longer basic. That was part basic of ass figures, man. Well, Slay Tanaka's trying to find the Monday Night Wars right line. There. It was like they're no longer basic. Yeah, what's that, Bobby? What's that you got? Undertaker. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, because yeah. Bobby ain't going to make it for the WWE segment, so you might as well do it now. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> yeah. make it. Was that the ultimate? Uh, this was the butterfly yeah, joints. This okay. was the um, what is it called? I think it was the elite. Yeah, elite collection. Yeah. yeah. Because when you have the elites, you know you're paying. It's almost the same price that you're getting, but it's like it's less articulation, right? Less stuff. Well, it's the like, elites are more articulation, right? All right, so uh, I'm changing yeah. things. I'm changing things. Hold on. I'm talking about this now because That's we actually right. have an audience. And if you want to stick around, we're going to finish with G.I. Joe. <laughs> Whatever there happened to go. Mezco? <laughs> we just yeah, have we have Mezco. We got we Mezco talking about the same G.I. Joe stuff we talk about every week. Yeah, what happened to Mezco? No, no. The only G.I. Joe stuff I got left is the comments I didn't get to talk about. I'll uh, answer the Q&A for Joe at the end. That'll make yeah. you stay. That'll make you guys stay. Because nah, I can run through this quick. But so, you know what? I think. Oh, go ahead, KJ, please. You first. Two things happened really quick with WWE, yep. but shout out to Sting. Shout out to Darby Allen almost fucking killing himself on AEW Revolution. And shout out to Sting's sons and his family and everything else. That was a Legend. great retirement. Thank you for all that. Such a fantastic match. But with WWE, two things happened that Rock, Rock and TKO misread the room. They were straight up going to do Rock versus Reigns. They were going to do that shit. They listened to the fans. That's the smartest thing they could do. Shout out to Triple H running creative. Shout out to everyone at WWE right now. It's never been a better time to watch WWE because they gave the fans what they wanted and they're able to spin it. Rock has the biggest amount of heel heat he's had in decades. Yeah, Since killing Hollywood it. Rock, like corporate Rock is like the best villain we have right now. And it's picking up all the interest. I've been watching Raw. I've been watching SmackDown. I mean, this is the most wrestling I've watched since college. Yeah. You told me they had like to switch it because he felt the crowd. You know? Remember? So now go home and smoke some more crack. Who says that? <laughs> he, said that he said that in Phoenix, Arizona, too. Yeah, say it, man. Great. <laughs> so, so it's going to be it's gonna be fun. I mean, I already know. I got friends. They got WrestleMania. I'll throw in a few bucks. I'll get some. I'll bring some cases. Is that the Dudleys right there? Yeah. So shout out to our truth. Uh, shout out to Regeneration X. The point is, it's fun, yeah. and that's what wrestling needed to be for the longest oh. time. It needs to be fun again. Spec, go ahead. Who what? Go the Bartholomew ahead. Effects. They want to know about the Bartholomew. <laughs> you don't see the question? <laughs> what bitch? You don't see the question? Oh, Who's the I, I missed it. This is the uh, the Mezco Rumble Society, the Bartholomew Vex, uh, Cult of the Crimson Goat edition which uh th they released an original one last year yeah so he, he had more white accents and he had black black head black hands and i missed it or i should say i didn't miss it i opted not oh to look who's it. back just in time to talk mezco we're gonna have hey, to come back to WWE back. data i'm sorry good damon time damon asked and we you shall i am a boy damon, damon. Damon, um, we're doing it, Damon. We're doing it for you. Yeah, he's he's just one of their original IP. I regretted not getting the other one. So when this one, me too. The other one, Bartholomew looked dope. The original, yeah. I don't know what the red one's cool, but the original was. I like mid. the this one pops. He's he's difficult to shoot. He's definitely difficult to photograph. As mm. the, you know, I posted that photo of him. It's not. It's not one of my favorites. It's not a perfect one. Um, He's going to take some work, but like him and the accessories with the blue accents, they just pop. I don't know. He, he's just, he, he's a great character that can fit into a lot of other lines. Like I think that he can go really well with Gotham by gas, like Batman, or, you know, you could put him with Marvel legends or I wouldn't put him with GI Joe, but yeah, he's just a really cool character. I thought it'd be a good way to, to segue into Mezco. I don't know, six, six or seven. He, Six. Six. Oh, there's six? Okay. All right. Yeah, because these just dropped. And, Ooh, I mean, wait. they're I freaking that. amazing. But, Bob, you want to talk cool. about them? Too expensive for me right now. <sighs> yeah, they're beautiful. And I wish you, I could I wish I could have gotten them. But, uh, me too. They're sold I out. I can't get it either. I, I accidentally. No, I didn't That's accidentally. Great. I, That's great. That's great. I, I mean, canceled it because I wanted to use a coupon, and then they were gone. So I got to wait. Look, 
look at the leather on his strap. Like, look, if I hadn't gotten the his tank and the dragonfly, I'd have gotten these. I would have exactly. Fun. I'm trying uh, to get a. Yeah. I'm trying to get a tank. I'm trying to go to Joe Fest. I can't get these four hundred dollar motherfuckers. Ah, uh, worth it. Though. Ooh, Rafael. You know what? Maybe maybe I'll get lucky at San Diego and someone someone will be selling them. I, know, I have got to stop hanging out with y'all. Y'all going to make me go back into brokenness. Stop I'm it. Almost, I want them, but I can't get them right I now. Can't get I Broke. I'm selling some stuff. I got those. Um, I just decided today because I forgot I, I even that. had them. The, uh, those Walmart, the San Diego Comic-Con Walmart exclusive Mutant Mayhem Turtles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put those up for sale. And he's and, and Hasbro is tapping my account for the soldier and the sailor yep. and the vamp is coming on the twelfth or whatever. I can't do these Metzcos, but these are the most beautifulest. How much this is this I've this ever is seen? Yep. These are the end all. These could be the end all be all. These of your turtles, motherfuckers your collection. Be made out of actual turtles. If we're going to cost four hundred dollars, Eastman and Laird. Well, no, I mean there's there's four of them. The average cost of a Mezco is a hundred, and then you look at like all the accessories that they pack in with them. This set's worth it. They got a bunch of stuff coming with them. Oh, they look at this! What up, McFly? Oh, Spending uh, his 40th hey. birthday? birthday. Hey, birthday. Happy birthday happy to McFly. Birthday, DJ McFly, happy B happy day, you old McFly. ass. Happy birthday. Mine's on Saturday. And Bobby's got one coming up after that. Yep. Oh my god, you guys are old. Am I the oldest one here? You young yeah, bastard. Yeah. Yeah, but no, not by much. What are you 50? No. No, he's fucker. 58. Okay. No, fucker. Fuck you, KJ. <laughs> Whatever, man. Brown don't frown. You you're still gonna look. Better. Are you the baby? I'm 49. Huh? Baby, right? the baby. Yeah, I'm the baby. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Until we have Fabio on, that guy's like 20 still. Yeah, exactly. Well, that yeah, guy's like here. 21. That little bastard. 20. He's still 20 with a fake ID. <laughs> He's had a fake with ID his, for his years. All right, like guys. Guys, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We'll make it quick. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candle. Hooray for DJ. Hooray for DJ. He's a horse. Yay. Here you go. You're getting all the birthdays. Here we go, all the 48-year-olds watching our show, too. Oh, shit. McFly is up there with me. Damon, too. Damon, too, you old man. We the OGs up in here. Look, man, y'all right, live right. It won't right. show. Just just, just enjoy yourself, right? And be true to your heart. You'll be fine. I'll be 50 this year, he says. Toy Bounty, huh? Toy Bounty. There are not too many kids watching us, that's for sure. <laughs> Michael, well, Classic this... Fantastic is 50, I think. Yeah, it's it's just our it's just time, you know. Like it's just like how nostalgia comes back and just reminding us of these gray, things. Gray, gray, like Baxter. Got you, got you. All right. Well, look, Mezco also had a Toys Fair, and it was four four one twelve. We're talking uh, six scale. I know. Um, I know Bobby has something to say about one of these, and KJ has something to say about one. So one of you guys take the floor. You know what, KJ? KJ oh, does not like that, Miles. I want to hear KJ's take. Okay, KJ first, then. So well. when Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse 2 came out, I saw that movie in theaters in IMAX, and I immediately bought a ticket for the next showing. I had never done that since X-Men 2, X-Men United. It had been 20 years since I watched the movie and immediately bought another ticket so I could watch it again. That's how great Spider-Verse was. When it comes to into the Spider-Verse, that means buying Mezco, that means buying Sentinel, that means buying custom head sculpts, all that stuff. But this, I'm not buying this. This dude looks like dead eyes. It looks like Woody had been hanging out with Tropic Thunder and Robert Downey Jr. Like, like I, I am not a fan of this Mezco. And it, it got to the point where I... Except for the shadow that's coming in, I canceled everything Mezco. It's like I had to see this shit in hand. I am not counting on reveals anymore. 
Prune face, hand. Dick Tracy and flat top in hand. Like I need to, somebody needs to show me like spec in that Bartholomew Vex. I need to see how it looks. Then I'll try to get it. I can't get it. Too damn bad. I'm not doing that thing where I pay for it and then I end up with something like that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Made me rethink everything, Mezco. That's how bad that face sculpt is. It's bad. It's, it's a body. It's, 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 yeah. Uh, the cap it, looks like trash. It looks, it looks accurate to the movie to me. I, 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 I don't know. It, I don't get all the hate for it. I think, I think KJ's talking about just like the eyes, where it's like he looks like he has like, I, I mean, it, it, like his finger in his socket. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But I'm also guessing that this is a render, so. Open so. But we'll see. I don't know. I mean. The, the reality is with when it comes to Mezco, any Spider-Man character, like I, I had the Spider-Man 2099 and I love that character and I really it's wanted great, Mezco. Great and then I, sold, I sold it because the, why? Like, it was great. It, it just it doesn't have the articulation that a Spider-Man should have. This you know, is Mezco, true. I, in like a few poses, but I think it looks nice, and that's what it, Mezco it, is. And you don't buy Mezco for articulation, do you? Yeah, who does? You buy I mean, you buy Mezco for articulation, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Snake Eyes could do a lot. He does have some good double elbows and torso and the head and everything. The head tilt is real cool. Like you know, he's got that head tilt, but but he's kind of whack. You know, yeah, but not. when would we find about that Snake Eyes two fucking years ago? If Mezco yep. is supposed to be that premium. Where we wait years. That snake eyes get, was whack. Get Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Snake eyes. This is what they're giving us. It's not worth it. I'll wait yeah. for so, that snake eyes to go half off like Destro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm gonna say the same thing about this cap. As I as as I've said about every other Mesco figure. And if you're a Mesco fan, fantastic. I I'm not going to, you know, rain on your parade. Um I've never been a hundred percent impressed. Like I do like the way this cap looks because yeah, it does look very comic book accurate. Um, but whenever I hold them in hand, it's like, oh, like that the new Spider Man that just dropped from Mexico. I got to hold it in hand. It was amazing. It was really cool. But I'm like, all right, cool. This is like at max fifty dollar figure for me. I'm not, you know, like oh, it's a hundred dollars. Putting it down. Like it's it's like it's not for as for as Tiny as they are, they I just like the Moffix yeah, at least are like six inches. Great, great figure. Like I just I I never liked the way that the clothes look on the figure. I never liked the way sometimes the face sculpts look. It's just it looked all very like mismatched, and it's just it just meh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Like it's like. That's funny. But right here, boom, Moffex over Mezco. Yes. Ooh. All right. I'm in the Mezco All house. So I still I like, think the, still I like think the accessory. It's rock. What's up? I think it's all preference. Moffex I think Mezco is. is very hit and miss. I see things Moffex from them and it. I'm like, that looks great. And then I see things from them and I'm like, that looks terrible. Like, as I said in the comments, I, I'm not impressed with any of their Captain America's. There, nope. There, there's a lot of stuff that does not translate to soft goods very well, and then there's stuff that translates fantastically. Um, what was that comment? Which comment? Never mind. I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt Spec. <laughs> well, you just did. <laughs> Sorry, fucker. Just, I mean, like this comment is like totally embodies that. Those turtles. Those turtles look. I can't. I. I'm so angry. I canceled my pre-order. I'd have it. I'd do a review already. I freaking but I was trying to save money, man. They're 420 bucks and there's a 10% off coupon. And now I, I'm like, Well, but you had them on I, Entertainment Earth, right? Right. And then I emailed <laughs> Entertainment Earth and they're like, I told them that their alerts don't work. And they're like, Yeah, we we know that's a problem. Well, if if we get more in stock, I'll email you. By the time he emails me, that shit's gonna be gone. He's not gonna 
put any aside or anything. Right. So, but Entertainment Earth didn't ship yet. It's Mezco is shipping, and then like smaller. So like Entertainment Earth, why does it keep going in and out of stock on Entertainment? The pre-orders keep going in, like because people pre cancel the pre-order. <laughs> oh, oh, so it's actually not shipping from Entertainment Earth. No, they're still saying. April. I never. Oh, also, oh, I never got a shipping notice from BBTS for um. For the fucking uh, army section action army yeah, action ranger yeah i haven't either yeah. well my roommate but, did and we live in the same freaking obviously the same address and we i pre-ordered right away and so it's they go but maybe they go by name because he's yeah. h they recognize your name you <laughs> saying last name <laughs> last name like alphabetical order kj come on you're picking on me again i'm just gonna drink you guys, I'm just gonna drink Ooh, I'm just, come on man i'm just kidding <laughs> oh, what's on like Gary? Man, so actually, these last two oh, reveals, we might have a lot of nice things to say. Hold on, I just want to give a shout out to TVC real quick. If you can Please get them, do. Ross Hunts or just on sale, they're great. But even now that I got a nice, decent TVC collection, I've just been picking them up. Chrysanthemum, Tuscan Chieftain, mm -hmm. like yeah, I was like, but just go slow. And I think I have favorites. one TVC figure. That's it. Mandalorian, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a few of them. Yeah, I love TVC. Yeah, they're great. They're they're cool. Yeah. Oh no, good. They're great. Go no, 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 good. They're, they're great, little dude. They're great. That, they're great. Is that it? That's oh, it. They're sorry. great. They're great. Yeah. They're great. <laughs> great. That's my line. Tony the Tiger, baby. I had a good amount of vodka for his birthday, he says. Good. He's good. good. But fly. What are you drinking that vodka with? Screwdriver? You know what I need? I need Spaceballs TVC. That's what I need. I need Spaceballs. Stop, space it. Stop it. But these are Chef's Kiss, right, guys? We don't oh. play AD. No. Very much so. No. I love these. You said no. Even, even the Joker. You They're only seeing a fucking zoomed in. Posted stamp size of the figure. You're not That's seeing not the figure yet. You need to see the figure. <laughs> I'm a shill. <laughs> mez, mez shill. Like, I'm not as like Fabio, but I, I'm a grid. I'm a grid shill. They showed that, the hand. They I showed that Batman, the hand. and that was like, ooh, okay. But then they showed that Joker. And you can't, even with that small preview picture, you okay. cannot deny That's that that Joker does not look awesome. Their face sculpts I look, take, oh, look I, sick as hell. I can take a DC Direct Joker head sculpt from McFarlane and put it on my Clown Prince of Crime Mezco and have the same damn figure now. So it's fun. I need to see these in hand to see what they do next. I'm not playing. I'm not falling for their tricks. They're Benny Jesuit tricks. <laughs> <laughs> that Joker looks dope right there, though. <laughs> you can get Mawfix right now and get it over with. I'm, 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 I'm going to see these in hand. I'm not, I'm not falling for that no more. Which one are you talking about, Damon? Both of them. You about Batman and Joker. Oh, Damon. Damon's talking Damon. about Spider Man. Yeah. Got it. You got, got the Moffex, Spider Man, and the Mezco, and he likes the Moffex better. Moffex is dope. Yes. Moffex is pretty I, dope. And you don't have to wait I, two and a half fucking years for the Yeah, figure. you don't have to wait fucking three years to get their goddamn toy after you order. How long did Batman 89 take, Moody? Three years. Three. Seven oh, years. my God. We've been waiting for it since eighty nine. I don't see how I don't see how Fabio does it. People had children before they got that Batman figure. <laughs> Fabio's smart. He doesn't have to go. He doesn't have to go broke because he buys like one figure Fabio a year. Fabio is the king of the long game. He's yeah. the king of it. Big big props to Fabio to three because he's a Mezco guy. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't know if Boog is, but I mean, Fabio got he got all those dudes, all the ACBA. They fuck with Mesco because of Fab. He he yeah, fucks with Mesco so hard. He, he goes on a live stream. You see a library of Mesco. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you must have started when you were when like when they do it right. Old. It's unstoppable. Like I'm gonna treat myself to that Judge Dredd Lawmaster. I don't care how much it costs. I'm gonna get that for real to go with my Judge Dredd. Should be why are you so quiet? This is Batman and Joker. Who the fuck? Who me? Okay, y'all were. Yeah. I was, gonna off, I was gonna get what else go off on it. Um, he's busy playing with his pretty hair. Yeah, he's like, um, Batman Joker. Um, no, no, like, look, those figures look great. Um, that Oops. Batman looks 
a million times better than anything that McFarlane has put out, like any of the figures, right? Um, same with the Joker. Uh, I'm I'm gonna wait. Uh, like when I saw them, when I saw them, I was like, spec. I'm like, ooh, fuck yes. Will I get them? Maybe I don't know. But I do want to see them in hand because I'm um, I'm like, look, I like I saw the Spider Man. Uh figure on them like oh that looks awesome saw so one hand i was like oh this is kind of oh uh, <laughs> just let your soul glow <laughs> just let it shine through but there's no there's no there's no west so behind glow. Me. um i did i did that i did that for you tony um yes, yes, you. but uh no like I, I i will wait to see it in hand but from what I've just just the face sculpt alone looked, but on both of them looked fantastic. But yes, I do want to see them in hand. I want to see how they look. But oof, I might be I might be lightening up on some of my, on my beat, collection. On the beat. I think they're a two pack, right? They gotta be. They gotta be like Dick Tracy and yeah. Flat Top. Two hundred and ten. Two ten. Give me two, two ten. ten. Yeah, bastards. Yeah. Lots, lots of, lots of it doesn't matter because they won't be coming out till 2026. So I'm good. I can I have some time to save up for that. <laughs> Bobby, what's the last Mesco you got? I don't, I don't have any Mesco. I've never got a Mesco. What's the last Moffix you got? Uh, technically, solid like Gambit. Oh, okay. I thought it was the Hush Technically, Batman. that means there's some no. outstanding pre orders. <laughs> there's, some good, there's some good prices for Ma- yeah. Moffix right now. Yeah. I, I, I got Nightwing, I've got Batman Hush, and I've got Solid and Gambit. And and uh, the X Factor Cyclops. Nice. I thought you got super. I thought you got Superman Hush. I did not. It sold out. Uh, and so he's awesome. Little... But it's weird how the how the cape goes into his pecs. Yeah, I know. Um, but it's, it's badass though. Still, but Batman is able to hide that with the cowl. The cowl goes. The the cape goes yeah. in, and then the cowl covers it. Um, but I I like the fact. And this is where, oh, for me, Moffix is better than Mezco. And here's, and I'll use I'll use Gambit for this because when you have figures that are this small on the six inch, the clothes just look weird on them. They just do, right? So here, like my Hot Toys, it looks right when they're like when it's the cloth. This, like the hard plastic, plastic is great. The cape can be cloth, and the soft goods look fan like. The, the wire and the cape looks great. If that if, if this was Mezco, this would all be cloth, and it would look really, really kind of cheap. Um, and I think that's where uh, Mezco gets me. Like, can support Undertaker, my Pat McAfee? Like, sure. Like, yes, this is, you know, looks cheap. 20 bucks, is, is that, that's fine. But if I'm doing, if I'm paying Mezco Malfex prices, I don't want it looking cheap. So also. that is my rant for the end of the night. <laughs> and well, then and now I, you have to oh, I think you're that you're hold on, Spec. He's gotta go. Sorry, Spec. He's gotta go. <laughs> Let that's his point. He's bithering. He's got to go. Let's He's go. a married man. Oh, wait, you are too. I tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day for me, so I must I must vanish into the ether. And that's a do. So, all right, gents, I'm off. I am off. I will see y'all later. All the fans in the stream, thank you for watching. Peace out, y'all. Can you fly, (laughs) Bobby? Fly, Bobby. I was just gonna. No, I was just gonna say to his point. I I agree with him when it comes to the superheroes, like, and that's where having full cloth can be a hard sell for me personally um but then when you get a figure like this i think the full cloth works or like the um the third party james bond that i have or you know whatever their other characters the gomez that have the union gomez i think that one looks awesome Um, do they have a john wick they do have a a while ago but but because it was early days and the john wick mesco has not held up the imports are better yeah okay yeah 
I have an import one on pre-order that I'm waiting for. Is that the Yeah Man mm -hmm. or Muff Toys? Or Manipal? Hey, Manipal. I thought you said it was Muff Toys. No. It's not. No. Yes, Muff it's James Bond Muff Toys. Yeah, I have oh. the James Bond Muff. It's not the Manipal one. It it might be the Yeah Man or the. It's the one that comes with Dunny Yin. Dunny Yin is Yeah Man, and then <laughs> Keanu is the Yeah Man. It, um, I, I didn't get the one with Donnie Yen because you could buy, you yeah. could pick and choose. I'm, um, getting, I'm gonna get that two pack, but I'm I'm pretty thrilled with this. I show this off whenever I can. Is it Noda Noda Toys? Is that the one? Uh, I'm not or, sure. Uh, Aton, which maybe Aton, Aton, Aton is, I think is the Aton. same as Noda. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that that's the one I prepared. It was the Aton. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's all I was gonna say. That's why that's why I tend not to like the Captain Americas, the the Batmans, I like the Batman, Superman, Mezco, Batman versus Superman, Batman, the Batflex, but I don't like a lot of those other Batmans, the Ascending Knights, the whatevers. I don't care for those. Supreme the Supreme Knight, the Ascending Knight, the Onyx, the whatever. I love those. Yeah. Supreme okay. Knight Batman is incredible. Yeah. So I think the Supreme Knight one is the one that I do like. There's, there's some where they put like a funky texture into the outfit oh, i just don't love it there. um and a lot of a lot of the og just like the the o, the john wick doesn't hold up like the older superman and the red krypton superman and all like they just don't look great but they've been improving the bucks and as they're improving the bucks the mm. cloth on them has gotten better that's cool. what i gotta say right on cool cool sir I think KJ, you had a question in the chat in our chat, yeah. and you hadn't brought it up tonight. Do you remember it? I ha I have it in front of me, but you can ask it if you remember. Oh yeah. Um, was that talking about the classified vehicles or something else? No. How has collecting changed you for the last three hundred and sixty-five days? Yeah, yeah. So I'm okay. taking it back to twenty twenty-three. Um, if I'm being super real, I probably had no business collecting anything because I had just moved into a new apartment. And I kept having roommate after roommate cancel on me. And so I had to foot the bill for a two bedroom in Los Angeles, which is not cheap. And yeah. um, to the point where now I'm still selling some of my prized possessions, McFarlane, GI Joe, Transformers, Power Rangers, Storm Collectibles. I'm selling a lot of stuff. And that's how I was able to make ends meet and not end up on the streets of Los Angeles. I shit you not. So it's only now that, I've had to like go back and get things that I miss. Like I miss Snow Serpent, but I got it. And yeah, I paid the market price, right? It is what it is. Stuff like that. Right. So stuff that hasn't sold out yet, Valkyries or, um, you know, like I just got the Crimson Strike Team on the Hasbro outlet. It took so nice. long for me to get this that Best they took now. off like <laughs> basically right yeah so some stuff worked out for you so it probably evened out the stuff some stuff you had to pay high and some low so you're meeting at the middle right yeah yeah but so i had to be responsible and i had to really decide what was more fun i got more fun from this speed racer i watched the anime as a kid and i love the wakowski's speed racer i love it so i went back and just bought vintage hot wheels you know like like all that stuff and um that was the stuff that like really brought me joy and i didn't have to spend an arm and a leg it really really wasn't about competing with instagram or youtube it was just about what made me happy so it's the little things it's the little things like having rodimus and galvatron right it's like it's just wow. what's cool. fun and what's fun isn't always like the hottest thing on the block or the most expensive thing it's just what mm -hmm. you want and what you want oh, to do. What brings you joy, like you said what earlier. What brings yeah. you joy? Rock what you got. Rock right. what I got. Well, what about the rest of the guys? Well, Speck left and went, oh, went to the bathroom. He hates me. So, <laughs> so Tony. Yeah. Tony. No, we're talking how, about joy. Oh, here we go. We'll go to <laughs> YOLO. That's a flex hardcore. With the light up LEDs, look at you. That's gorgeous. That's technically amazing. that's a model kit. That's not an action figure. It's, it's a model kit. figure. The model kit, you mother. That's that's <laughs> silly marketing. This thing is so articulated. <laughs> this thing is 
that's a nice model kit you got there, Spec. A nice model, model kit, kit Spec. <laughs> Let me know when you got the action figure. Yes, Baxter. Look at that. That is sick. It turned to a gun. No, no, it's a it sick looking has, model kit. It has you model have, the that have this much turn, articulation. Turn to a gun on screen right now. No, 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 no. It's, I dare you. I freaking dare you. That's great. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Uh oh. That's sick. The yellow park shit is really popping. You have the Optimus? Um, he's still pre-order. I need to I'll pre-order him eventually. And then they have the Rise of Beast. The Rise of Beast was going cheap as hell. I like Rise of Beast, man. People I haven't seen it. I like it. I like Rise of the Beast. But the, the YOLO Optimus from Rise of the Beast was like 20 bucks. Something crazy. Hey, Warchest, I appreciate that, man. It is what it is, man. I got I got plenty to still keep me happy and to keep me satisfied, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. I like I'm that sure yellow part. Huh? They have the the mini line. I haven't gotten. I'm not gonna get those, but they have yeah, those P38. Those Yolo Park minis that you also mini Yolo. model kits, but they're also super articulate. They're probably like that big. Yeah. Moody waiting for the segue. Yeah. Well, no, we're good. So I forgot to add this, but look, um, since we're talking Transformers, celebrate 40 years of Transformers. Join Hasbro Pulse for a month of fan streams on their YouTube channel starting tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, which is pretty fucking soon. It's like 10 hours from now. Unveil the latest Autobots, Decepticons, blah, blah, blah. Mark your calendar. So they're going to do a fan stream every week. So tomorrow, then a week later, a week later, a week later. But it's probably not full fan streams, right? Spec, what do you think? You're the Transformers guy on this channel. I mean, KJ loves Transformers too, but you're you're really into it right now. Um, I don't know what to expect. I assume tomorrow, based on what got leaked today, is that they're going to announce... Well, there, there might be two things. There's the next wave that has gears in it that everybody, you know, everybody wants gears. Um, and I can't remember the other three. One of them is one of the rock guys. In terms yeah, of what's what's the, the yeah, what's the Unicorn Trilogy? Um, maybe. I don't remember. But everybody wants the G1 gears. And then I don't know if they'll announce the G1 Sandstorm. who's Because those are all the deluxe. And then I think the Sandstorm's a Voyager. And then what got leaked today was the Walmart stuff which is the exclusive, I guess they're called the Star Seekers. And I had to ask my son about them. And I guess they're from the IDW run and they are pirates. So that oh, there's, cool. the, there's the one that got announced, um, Thundertron, Thundertron, something like that. He got announced during the last, one of the last live streams. He has like a peg leg and turns into a couple of things. He looked, he actually looked pretty cool. Like this, this is his crew, and it's um. Oh, I just forgot his name. It's an animate. He was also in the animated series, and I think it's an animated version. And then one of them's like a red and white repaint of Cyclonus, and then there's a purple repaint of Air Razor, and then there's a retool of the Skids, and I can't remember. I think his name's like Cannonball or something. It they're they're not characters I'm super familiar with, so I'm. They're probably a pass for me unless I find them on clearance. Yep. So right. I'm guessing that that's what they're going to reveal tomorrow. Is there a time these chats tend to go to? You mean us? Like right yeah. now? Not this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm here We're as long as you here. guys I'm are here. I'm having I'm, fun. I'm drinking. I'm hanging out. I'm not working tomorrow unless I miss something. I am I working call. at 24, but I'm always get, working. Yeah, I get to sleep at work, so I'm I'm all right. I would I'm say good. for me, probably at least within the half an hour. You know what I mean? But yeah. I can go quicker. I can probably not any longer than within a half an hour. But there's still like I still want to talk about Jada and the WWE stuff, which will be fast. But I don't want to yeah. rush into it. So. Ain't but, gotta rush. Um, Ain't but uh, I'm through. good with Transformers. If we want to just kind of quickly go through the Jada pictures, do we want to do that? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me get my pillow. I thought you collect Jada. 
What are you talking about? Oh, you said, you said data transformers, and I'm like, what? No, I said no. we're done with transformer. Oh, okay, my bad. I'm tripping. No, Tony, the move the Jada. You, you need to get your sock. Ooh. <laughs> so someone has to be baby down Stretchy scene. limbs? I don't think they're I don't know if they're stretchy. They're not stretchy, they're just elongated. They're probably yeah, big elongated, liar, baby, right? like Ralph Dibney. Ooh. Look at the articulation to do a yoga Deep pose. Cut. Yoga plan. My God. Yoga so fire. Cool. Yoga fire. Look at these poses are great. My goodness. Yeah, so yeah. Who would have thought you could make an awesome Dalsim character? Jada Killer. Oh, I know. This is like the greatest M. Bison. Oh, man. It's making me miss my Storm collectibles. I'll tell you that much. But these are still great. I'm so that's sorry. That's all I got. Those are the well. early. That's the early stuff. And Dalsim comes with Dalsim, especially comes with a whole lot for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Bison stocky boy. So you know, and he's is that cloth goods or is I that think it so. looks like he's got a wired cape. My God, they're both for twenty. Oh no, is M Bison? No, M Bison's not deluxe because the deluxe is Blanca and uh, Honda. All right, right. Blanca come with a lot of shit. Sagat would probably be a deluxe too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's, it's not. Guy. It's Sagat. They haven't done Honda yet. Yeah, you're right. No. It's Sagat. But the, but the Honda will be a big yeah. boy. Zangief is going to be a big. You're right, boy. KJ. And they're going to have the effect for E Honda. Jada will do the hand effect too. Yeah, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. His a thousand hand slap, whatever. Yeah, Sagat's going to be awesome. I it's just got I still don't have Ken yet. God dang it. What? You don't? No, yeah, these he's... freaking these targets suck. I swear to God. Yeah, same. I had to get mine from Jada directly because you, you, you have to go to the beach where they don't buy toys. I wish I knew yeah. that because I saw like four on the peg two weeks ago. Well, thanks for telling us, bro. Thanks a lot, David. He used to tell people he don't tell people no more. <laughs> I said it. I swear I sent a picture of that one. Didn't, he hooked no, me I up one time. It. He hooked me up with the I'm just, I'm you just know I got money, man. You're busy. Yeah. Okay, that's um, cool. David, I have money. Um, can you go back to that target, please? <laughs> well, those are long gone. But if I see them again, I know you need them. So. You're not going to see those again, but appreciate it all the same. <laughs> I, got, I got one, one pre-ordered. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, so same well. here. I got mine on BBTS. So let's yeah, go same here. Yeah, they're affordable. That's the thing. Twenty-five dollars, lots of accessories. They feel good in hand. Yeah. Amazing God, articulation. We know you don't do. Yeah. We know Great. you. We know you don't do these yet, fools. So <laughs> my question for you guys and the chat too is: How long is the Street Fighter line gonna last? And are we all in? Is everybody that's on a toy kind of mood right now? Are we all in on Street Fighter Jade? Are we not? Like not getting like player two versions. Are you gonna get the I'm not. Walmart? I'm so not. You're not all in if you're not getting variants. But you're all in on the characters, but not the variants, right? Right. I'm all in on the characters. I'm not in on the player twos. But the only way I would be is, uh, what game is it that they have like Ryu and Ken and like Surfer Wear and all that? I might get though. Those look kind of cool because you're gonna have so just long dressed like Kato, right? And I Bruce Lee. I'm, I'm getting those. Yeah. Okay. So not repaints, but like, though if they're different, like so evil Crazy Ken, outfits did you like in the game. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. So yeah. we're all in on Street Fighter, except not the variants. I'm not I mean, on the variants. I was all in on Storm Collectibles. I had Ryu. I had Brown Ryu. I didn't have Evil Ryu. I had M Bison. I had different variants. Sold them. Jeff Guile. Sold it. Sold Guile. I had Chun Li and um, the exclusive Chun Li. Sold both of those. I sold everything. Storm Collectibles, Street Fighter. I have. I basically have an M Bison and a Ryu left. I sold. Right. I sold everything. So. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Johnny wants Vega and Chun Li. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, Vega would be sick. Well, Vega. I'm not like I didn't. I got the evil Ryu. Okay. I don't. I don't care about the Paul Mart version. But like I'm the same with Tony. So like I got Fei Long. I wouldn't. I'd only get a player two version if they did like the version with the the cloth, the suit, the suit or whatever. Yeah. He has a suit and he has a Kato mask and stuff too. And he has the suit with the sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, he might have a like a uh, 
a, a, a white tank top and you know that'd be dope so this is the key right here is all the, in, uh, they have said they have plans for alpha they're doing X alpha and, and street fighter six so that's like which makes Alpha's sense when they look really you, young would... right what's yeah. up alpha yeah, looks yeah. like when they look really young and really anime eh, maybe cool 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 it seems like the consensus is that everybody's in except for like very few people don't want the player twos i'm not doing you know the player I mean? like, two. i'm kind of crazy like that but like a lot of people you are. will you'll get every single damn one you and you completionist you if you're a photographer and you have like extreme sets dojo or stuff like that or just straight scenes and you want to do like player two photos like ryu versus ryu ken versus ken that kind of shit then yeah then that makes sense and there's plenty of collectors that are going to get that stuff i did i did for storm i was getting everything storm street fighter you know what you know what you know what i wonder what's going to be hard for them or maybe because it's i don't know the 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 rights and all that Remember when Final Fight figures were in the Street Fighter game, like Guy and Cody? And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be that would be awesome. I'd be all in on all those three, and they're oh. different looks. But uh, that's a different company. I don't know if that's Capcom. I don't know if it's got to yeah. be Capcom because they were it's together. Capcom. Yeah, so hopefully I mean, Zane can get the Final Fight. Ooh. Zane Gibson, Streets of Rage. Oh, he is. That's right. So I would look at this right now. That if we wanted to license Capcom, they would be more than happy. Like <laughs> was, they're probably real, yeah, they're probably real easy with it. Like let's go. <laughs> they're not doing so hot these days. Capcom, there yeah, there you go, yeah. just Jeff. There you go, just Jeff. Paul Mart, Paul Mart Store dot com. It's there. Yeah, so it's on it's Amazon not, too. So is that one the is player too? Amazon? It's on yeah. Amazon too. Okay, okay, okay. Just if you do a search for him on Amazon, you have to say Palmart and then read yeah. it in the description oh, because the first so cool. is the white one. Great. Now they you start Jada, Jada Toy starts doing Samurai Showdown and all that. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh. Well, if I they do Mortal game, Kombat, man. which is what everybody keeps Mortal telling them. Mortal Kombat, Tekken. That'll cost King, them money. King of Fighters. Yeah, I don't see it happening great. They'll probably stick with Capcom stuff. Dark Stalkers yeah. and stuff. So Amazon has uh Paul Mart for uh $31.99. Yeah, it's the so same Paul price. Mart's selling through Amazon is what it is. Yep. But that was the original that's the original price. See, I know you're saying not cool, but that's the Paul Mart price. I think I that's think Walmart. that's what I paid. 32. Yeah. Yeah. It so, could be worse. It could be worse. Yeah, it could be way worse. They could. I'm so shocked that they're still available for 33. I'm surprised they like. But the, what's funny is a scalper is selling them to you. So are the scalpers going to buy off a scalper and raise it up? That's it's kind of like <laughs> that's what Paul Mart is. There's, I hate the word, but you know what I mean. I like the word. It's funny. Yeah. Scalper. It's kind of funny calling people scalpers. I don't know. That's just me. You guys got to deal with that in L.A. <laughs> big time, huh? Yeah, not you. I don't know what else you guys got. What else you guys got before I go to wrestling? I mean, oh, shit. Uh, I got. What you guys, uh, what'd you guys pick up? Do you guys pick up anything new? Yeah, I got. Uh, that was your question, Gordon. Yeah. There, I don't have them up here. They're still in the car. I I, I grabbed the uh, the movie Flash Gordon and Ming from the uh, from NECA. Yeah, oh. yeah, those are those are still at my Target. They're all over Target. These are the MDXL. From three zero. Awesome. I got these from Nerdzoic, Rodimus, and Optimus. Nice. So I, I wanted to use that uh, Flash Those Gordon. Sweet figures. I had the Bumblebee. Rock, man. I I got the Bumblebee for twenty five bucks from my comic store during Black Friday. And That's it's, crazy. It's a badass figure, but I wasn't gonna get more at full price, so I ended up selling them. But the, it's a great line, great articulation, great. Yeah feel heavyweight with the die cast parts i love the design yeah they're a lot of fun i gotta get megatron next i don't know about starscream starscream i would need to be the same price as megatron which is like around 80. if you were to go on ebay right now it's like 120 or 130. just be patient and they'll show up on the fan channels again but if you get a chance to get any mdlx transformers at retail i highly recommend them um I expect. How do you think YOLO compares to 3.0 MDLX? 
I'd say quality wise, they're about the same because the YOLO has some die cast parts and like the MDLX are, are really good. They're not totally perfect. Like my Bumblebee, like the head popped on and off a little right. bit. Um, but other than that, it, it was pretty solid. Um, but like obviously the scale, like the MDLX is a much nicer, tighter, smaller scale than the YOLO park. Okay. Yeah. Yellow is a little, I guess, bulky, but it gets the job done. That looks great. It moved incredible. It really did. Yeah. I mean, it's very, you know, it's very G1. I do like the um, the M the MDLX that they just announced, the animated repaints yeah. for Prime, Bumblebee, and Bumblebee, Megatron. Yeah. yeah, they've got some really good stuff. Um, yeah, man. Jetta Toys, they need to do everything Capcom and see what else they can get their hands on. Like, if they did Sonic the Hedgehog, if they did something like um, Ratchet and Clank or something like that. Like, just keep hitting the gamers up, you know. And, like, I would love to see them take on something like this. Here's, like, the Metroid. This is from Jack Specific. But if Jitta Toys did this, it would be probably six-inch scale. It'd have more effects. It would probably have a Samus Aaron head sculpt. So I trust you. Yeah. I got the, um, I just opened them up a few weeks ago for a photo. I got the Link and the Princess Zelda. Yeah. And like they're neat, but the quality is kind of crappy and the articulation is very stunted. You get what you pay for. They're like $10 figures. Yeah. I mean, you know, yes. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. Like Figma. I have the Figma Link. I even got like a horse to go with it, like Epona. For link and the figma stuff was great you know once again accessories high detail stands like when you depending on what you order from you can get a lot done uh, with these figures so it just really depends but do your research do your due diligence you know and then get what's right for you definitely i did um oh i do get todd's you know transformers that transform i totally get yeah. that um with uh, probably only get prime and then i'll probably stop um there's just something about the g1 accuracy and then also a g1 accurate megatron because we're never going to get one that turns into a gun again so to right. at least get this version of him and have him as articulated as he is for photography or whatever like i just had to yeah um i did get my first figma figure um i got the the male anatomy one this, this yeah mm -hmm. down. yeah because yeah. it was up on the deal of the day on big bad toy Store. yeah yeah i was yeah, like I that would that. be perfect for certain photographs yeah you're gonna have to be like hollow man like he's like his skin's disappearing no uh yeah. there's some fun stuff there's the mummy that was on sale on amazon and big bad toys store uh there's the uh what was it the uh, vitruvian man with the different mm -hmm. arm sculpts like that kind of Leonardo da Vinci one. So Figma, they do some pretty fun stuff. And Figma is true 112 scale, so it's going to be smaller than Hasbro and Mattel. Yeah. Um, but there's some cool stuff there. Uh, games that I wish they made toys of, they really had, I guess NECA had Contra. They even had like the spray bullet effects. But I would love to see a more modern take on Contra. And uh, Somebody just announced that. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, I, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear that. Wow. Yeah, I, I swear I saw it and it was Contra. Yeah, and Killer Instinct from Nintendo. They'll never get a toy line, but those would be fun toys, I think. Yeah, the snowman. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great question. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying what to think. What game do you wish they made toys of that's not really had a toy line? So that's the thing. I don't really, there was a big span of time where I didn't collect toys. I'm not going to lie. So it's like, during my drinking drugs and drinking clubbing days, I wasn't collecting toys. So I don't, you know, my twenties. So I don't yes. really in early thirties. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't want to take a guess on something and then it's it was out. You know, Ninja Gaiden. That's a good one. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. New, um, did you guys stuff. do this one yet? You did this. Yeah, one? yeah. I really wish you guys hollered at me about that price point, man. Like, look, it's story time. So I actually used to run an info dump. Facebook group for a toy kind of mood. I don't know how many deals and sales I let these guys know about. They be finding $25 Bumblebees and Street Fighter Kins and $25 60th anniversary figures. I don't hear shit. 
So there's that. Maybe that's the Guinness talking. I'm just being real. So well, hold on. These, hold on. Like when these we might be able to help you. We might, I might be able to help you there because I got four, two from each website. I only need two. Uh, so you could basically I'm, I'm, buy them off me for twenty five dollars. I got, I got the ones from Pulse, man. I'm good. I'm, I'm just giving you guys shit. I'm just saying, like, no, 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 just, no, 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 no. I'm, this is like, why not? And, no, I seriously got two coming from BBTS each, two coming from Entertainment Earth. I don't have to cancel. When because if BBTS ships, I'm canceling the other one. Why would I cancel twenty five dollars? Here's the thing. When here's I the thing. Can keep hook you up and save you twenty bucks. Keep keep those. Keep those. They will sell out. Flip them. Make some money. I'm serious. I shit you not. Because that's how you I was able to. Down, you live ten minutes away, fifteen minutes away. I'd rather help you out. Let's all right. Put it this way. When what? I get them, I'll hit you up. Well, I was giving them shit them, about not telling me about deals and sales and shit. And but but you don't I, have to do no, that. That's no, but it ain't about. Do giving a shit it's about helping a friend I appreciate right that. i appreciate and that. if i got two recon diver and two action diver and i only need one because remember i already got one already i did the review early so i'm only doing one of each so, so, so basically i might even have three of the diver and two of the action and you and they're all 25 dollars each so I'll hit you up, and if you don't want it, then I'll throw it on a the, Macari the, or something. The real, here's me being I, – I can't get any more realer than this. When I help out my friends and I help out people is because I want more people to play with this stuff. I want it to spread. So when I help pe out people with Classified, Cobra Island, when I help out people with this thing, that thing, I pretty much hooked up damn near everybody except Speck who hooked me up. He got me this Ramatz Nevera from Hot Wheels that I love very much. He got it at Palm Springs. So the point is this. Pay it for it. Help someone else out. I have 60th anniversary. They're coming in. I was just giving you guys shit because I just wanted to juice up the numbers on the stream before we go on. <laughs> but the truth, the truth is, there will be someone, Moody, who does not have 60th anniversary yet. They're, for whatever reason, unable to get them from Pulse. They'll be sold out. And you will either have extras or you will be able to tell them where they can get 60th anniversary. So oh, I got it covered, man. The, the chat it. just wants you to save a few dollars, but look, I'll hit you up anyway, and you can ghost me. And if you ghost me after forty-eight <laughs> hours, they're going, they're going on the flipper, flipper Macari. I don't I need it. to flip. I appreciate it. But if I have to, then I have. Thanks, to. guys. Thanks, guys. Snacking in these be cool. I liked it. You ran like a little Q and A while I got my stuff because this is my segue into uh, wrestling because we were talking soft oh, goods. Yeah. Hold on, but this is an awesome. Forget wrestling. Just look, look at this as a toy, right? Let's Who is talk, that? Like Robo, you know, Robo don't know. He don't know half the things, but he shows. Is he, that lucha? he knows, That's a lucha. Robo knows toys. This is a new Japan wrestler who he has a new is a lucha gimmick. Oh, look at this thing because he's got face paint and the eyes. A mask. The eyes are great. And this is Storm Collectibles, which KJ was talking about. And look at Soft Goods pants with the Aztec, you know, like the, the Mexican look there and everything. And uh, the articulation's crazy. Mexican. And yeah, he's got like amazing set of hands. But yeah, his name is El Desperado. He's in New Japan. He's one of the <laughs> light heavyweight champions. But he's a sick, sick figure, right? Like butterfly joints, double elbows, like fucking pinless you know what i mean like storm collectibles is the shit but nobody watched my ranking video so let's talk about it now while i got 45 people here this was the number one figure of february for me it's wwe ashka look at this soft goods faux freaking look at this thing this is gorgeous that's beautiful that's that is nice that's storm collectibles too no, this is WWE Elite. Oh, I mean, really? Ultimate edition. Wow, okay. Ultimate You're... Edition. Uh, my favorite female wrestler of all time, Ashka, in one of her better, funnier, really? funnier looks, damage control. This is an incredible figure. And then the mask, you know, pops on. That's She's nice. One of the you, you put up warriors. pictures on Instagram, right? And she actually shouted you out. Yeah, she shouted me out, but the problem is she shouted me out because she saw Ringside's post, and when she shouted me out, it didn't go to a toy kind of move, so nobody <laughs> saw her shout out. But either way, it fe I felt the love, Oscar. Oh, I, I love you. I remember that. Yeah. 
I love you back. But look at this thing. I mean, this is $30, $30. This is an incredible, whether you like wrestling or not, this is a good ass toy. Look at all the paint deco. Look at good the paint. Ass. On it. Oh, Jeremy Kimberlin's throwing some, some yeah. challenges at you. Oh, I love Kyrie too. So we're good. I mean, that's, that's like, those are my two mamas right there. So it don't matter. We're good either way. Trav, I'm glad oh, that yeah, you yeah. found her or got her. Because you know that day I sent you the... Uh, mm -hmm. Who did I send you? You said you already had him. Oh, Roman Reigns. Yeah, I didn't want that one because I already got an Ultimate Roman. He's better, but I don't need like that right. one, you know. But I, I had found her also. But my buddy that gets the wrestling. Yeah, you, know? you always have a buddy that gets... It's fine. We all got buddies. Yeah, you're my buddy too. But look, but these if, are great. If, if he had passed on it, I was going to send you the picture. Hold on, I want to shout out Ringside. Ringside. Ringside Collectibles has their own toy line now. See this? So not only do they sell toys, I don't know if they physically make them, but they get a partnership. And look at this, a big bio on the back. You guys love Road Warriors. Come on, even you, all you old G.I. Joe fans in the chat that hate wrestling now, you <laughs> love these motherfuckers. Road Warriors Road are the Warriors. shit. Yeah, are you I kidding me? Those dudes. These are incredible, and these are throwbacks. Like I don't even want to open this because who knows? No. Like, someday ringside exclusive. Like I'm like, you know, it's not like it doesn't fit with my collection anyway. And I got one more, uh, gold blue Michigan. These are the Michigan. Obviously, you can't have the M on there, but back in the day, they could do whatever they want. There was not a lot of copyright stuff going on. So, but these are Rick and Scott Steiner, right from uh, Michigan, man. So this was this was dope. These these are great. But yeah, I just want to shout out Steiner. inside on that. And then uh, the, so we're going to have to say bye to Speck and Tony, right? Because this is wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want to guys, if, if you're going to wrap it up soon, I can hang out. I mean, all right. So I'll tell you what, you guys were into wrestling back in the 80s, right? Or 90s? Yeah, I bought, I bought the Iron Sheik figure. All right. Well, these are all classic wrestlers right here. Yeah, as long as you consider the, Cena I, the classic, I, bought the Dean, I bought the Dean Ambrose to make a custom. <laughs> oh, there you go. Fuck I love the Dudley boys. Says, I'm a bushwhacker. Oh, we actually got some wrestling fake uh, comments. Hot take. 90 Scotty was go. I love the old school hawking animals. See, I knew these old Joe fans would love them. I don't mean old like your age. I just mean like you're hanging out. And that picture, who's the dude all the way on the right by Ultimate? Is that That's Cena? Cena. Oh, is that Cena? Yeah, I got close-ups. So this is DX. This made me... So the big news today with Ringside, the reason I'm doing this is because, well, first of all, I love Ringside Collectibles and shout out to JP. That's my guy. But they're bringing back... This is a controversial thing. They're bringing back figures that are grails. So people that have been collecting the line since day one and haven't stopped are rolling in their graves today. They are pissed because these are figures that are re-released and it's gonna, it has to affect, you know, how much this shit's worth. I asked my roommate who does a lot of eBay and he says he, he thinks the cost of those old things will go up. What do you guys think? Like if they're releasing eight grails, but they're in new packaging, it, it does say from the WWE vault from the, it's like a vault series. So it's not exactly a one-to-one -one replication. I mean, what do you guys think? Is it damage your collection? Is it a big hit, or does it make them more? No, it's all about new collectors. Think how many people are finally yeah. watching wrestling again for the first time because The Rock and Cody and Reigns and Rollins caught their attention. So then they may be like, "Oh, well, maybe I'll get some like figures and whatnot." You saw me just pick up like three different Rock figures for crying out loud. So yeah, there's gonna be, you know, DX new nwo figures all, all kinds of stuff yeah people are gonna it's fun so people are gonna i think jump back into it uh the only thing that keeps me from these is that i, I think i'm only sticking to ultimate edition i don't want to get anything elite but these are so fun and they're nice and they get the job done for real extra hands right. all that stuff. right so they're updated yeah. joints they're updated joints but you're not i don't see butterfly joints on these and i don't see yeah. double elbows but then again these are updated joints for elite so you're they're not getting elbows. the 33 yeah, those are double pov no they're no butterflies too yeah no butterflies. there are double but there's no butterflies huh i think no. if it's going to affect the price you might see like a minimal hit 
upon actual release but you always have those collectors that they want the og they want the first edition they want the it's like books or whatever else you know comics like the first printing is always the more valuable yeah like i was just curious because this is like the it could go either way you know what i mean um but I don't have any of these. I collect wrestling figures. You saw my collection. It's not that. It's not like Kyle Peterson, who has 10 of everyone or my damn toys or any of these guys. Shout out to Fig Heel, Alex West Collects, Fig Vault, all these guys. I follow these guys all the time. I wish I could talk more wrestling. We just don't have the audience for it. But I'm just like, man, I, I can get these now because these go for a lot of money on eBay. Like, I don't even have DX in my collection. And so now I have a chance, thanks to Ringside and and mattel giving us these some of the face scans are iffy but they are some of them were updated and some of them are just like nah one to one so like triple h that's kind of a mess Shawn michaels looks a little better but the dudley boys they yep. just signed a legends deal so this is why this can happen so led dudley boys are in wwe 2k 24 so if you see characters come back to wwe 2k that means they're available to be in the toys as well. 90% of the time. You know what I mean? Because they signed basically they signed a legends deal. So Dudley boys, get the tables. They come tables. with them. Yeah, that's great. Get the tables. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I don't have any Dudleys in my collection. Now I can have like a whole ECW setup. Just gotta yeah. get a, a nice RVD since the Walmart one is so evasive. But uh, did you not yeah, get the Walmart cool. one? RVD? No, I asked you to keep looking out for that, and you're not my mama or anything, but if you found <laughs> it, you could have got it. I just I, want the oh, I haven't I've the seen him 1,200 times down the beach. What was I thought that you time? had him. No. Fuck. Okay. I have a ton of accessories. Next time I see I him. have the breakaway table. I have the round breakaway table. I have the ladder. I'm letting, I'm letting the chat know. I don't tell these guys anything anymore. I see all kinds of things like yeah. this. They don't. They don't tell me <laughs> shit. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm happy to definitely talk about <laughs> what I do. As I make a, I make somewhat of a living talking about WWE figures, and I have a YouTube channel, and we don't get to talk about WWE figures. So I like that people are into this. Maybe we'll do more. If you put it this way, if you're in the chat now, and you want to see more WWE stuff or wrestling stuff, let me know because it'll make me feel good. Because I, I am the presenter. For WWE Mattel, I just got the email today. I'll be there in April presenting WWE toys to retailers. So for me to talk about what I love on the channel I love the most, it would mean a lot. I just can't do it in front of three people. So if you guys are there to support me, because it's a lot of work just putting the show together. So if you want to talk wrestling with me, let me know. I'll do hey more man, wrestling. When I stuff. launched Black Genghis, I was prepared to just be in front of three people for real. I would have been lucky I, with three people. I was, I was expecting like one million hits because of your, 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 your the Black Genghis, man. I was just like, what? But you had a good, you had a good show. It was good. It was good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but look at this is the Undertaker that comes with the bat cape. That's going back. Attitude Era, the hardcore title. See, that, it's uh, Jeremy Kimberlin. and it's guys like that. Why well, I have to keep talking about G.I. Joe? These G.I. Joe motherfuckers, man. That cane <laughs> is just dope. I'm just blasting. I'm just blasting. I'm just kidding. Look at that. That's funny. I Fucking back Where's Bobby? Where's Bobby, Where's Bobby at? He would have loved this. Ultimate There's Warrior. And here's the last Hellwig. one. Ultimate Warrior. Hellwig. A Hellwig young with baby the hair all back. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. He's got, like, the mullet kind of hair back. So this is actually... He just, he just got all his, his hair. In his yep, you nailed it. And I like the white title looking good. And Cena, the Thugonomics, Dr. Thugonomics. He's got all the, the chains rapper. and shit. The hip-hop. Cena hip -hop was definitely Cena. after my time. I, I got a question for you guys, because, you know, Instagram feeds and all this stuff, you know, all this old wrestling, all the old promos and all that, that always comes up. And I constantly see stuff with the Ultimate Warrior, who I used to love as a kid. Me too. And I just watch it, and I'm like, "What the fuck did he just say?" Yep. I don't me know too. what he's talking about. Like this dude is just out of here. He's a fucking kite, like blabbering. Yep. Well, his promos were insane. That was the time. That was the era. Yep. Jeremy, I don't know if you just missed this because you didn't comment on this, bro. Do you? Uh -huh. Do you want to go? Go bell to bell. 
Go to ringside collectibles. They're not elites, but they're pretty sick. They're kind of like the toys we had as kids, the Hasbro retros. And they're ringside exclusive. So go check out the Bell to Bell. Okay. Our ringside collectibles. Yeah. So this is this is good stuff. Is it just an opportunity for, like you said, KJ, longtime collectors have a chance to get grails or toys that we always wanted. So yeah. and they're looking good. Another look. And then Sting finally. Yep. Sting. I met Sting, the man called Sting at Starcast back at Double or Nothing, AEW Double or Nothing back maybe 2019, the before just before the before times. October uh, maybe then the May of 2019. But man, what a career, huh? He finally hangs it up, guys. I don't know. I, I do you guys are you all familiar with Sting, David and yep. Anthony? I'm a, I'm remember him like I remember seeing advertisements for WCW. I never really watched it. I was more WWF. Um, I remember he started with Blade Runners with uh, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, but I, mm -hmm. I remember him with the blonde flat top, and then I remember yeah. really not liking him when he started this look because I was just like, man, he's ripping off the crow, and I ripping really the crow. loved the crow movie and. So mm -hmm. I loved it when he started and, wearing the scorpion t-shirts. So like, yep. Yeah. And this is a yes, Woody. So they're the road warriors and Legion of doom was their name in WWE. Yes. And then, but the thing is when they were the road warriors, they had a faction called Legion of doom and they right. had other members in the faction. I think actually butch Reed. I'm trying to think of who was in that faction, but you know, it's something like wiki Google thing, but they actually had a faction in NWA or AWA. Uh, and it was called Legion of Doom. So they ended up just using that name in WWE. But they always referred to themselves as the Road Warriors Legion of Doom. Even in WWE, they still said Road Warriors. They just, due to some copyright stuff, they had to change the name to Legion of Doom. But I don't know. After a while, they just, people were calling them Road Warriors. I think they bought the, uh... I'd love to see more on the channel. Boo, thank you. Thanks so much. So Well, Ahmed Johnson Smash. was in it. Ahmed Johnson. There you go. I remember Johnson Drozd? Was. Remember Drozdoff? Yep. Drozdoff was the replacement for Lee, yeah, yeah, for Hawk. Because Hawk was getting too drunk. <laughs> and, and, but anyway, and, I just and, wanted to... Yeah. Oh, God, sorry. No, no, no go Sonny, ahead. Sonny was the manager. <laughs> oh, my God. Sonny, oh, Sonny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That whole thing with she heartbreak. She crazy kid. nowadays, dude. No. Oh, my God. Oh, is Sonny the one that's in jail right now? Yes. Or, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, because it was, uh, they did a whole thing on documentary. Oh, that reminds me. Dark Side of the Ring is back. And yep. Earth, and they actually threw a curveball and did a positive episode, like Light Side of the Ring. It's with Earthquake, and it's like supposed to be. The only sad thing is he died fairly young. You know what I mean? Like 50s, I think, like all wrestlers do. But like he had a, like a nice life. Isn't really dark side, but I'm I'm super interested in it. You know what I mean? There is they're in the they're in the second yeah. season of Dark Side of the Ring. Third or fourth now. I think yeah, they're in the second. The Road Warriors in third. the second. What's the up? Road Warriors in the second, damn it. Got you, got you. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sting. He ended his career winning the tag team. He went 29 and 0 in AEW. And they did him right. WWE, they made him lose twice on his way out. He lost to Triple H. He lost to Seth Rollins. How do you treat a legend like that? So, but AEW treated him right. He never lost. And he had a classic match against the Young Bucks with Darby Allen. And he hangs it up. And he retires. They had Ricky Steamboat there, Ric Flair. And he retires. Ricky but Steamboat. anyway, this is coming out. Walmart Collector Con. So I just wanted to wrap around from Walmart Collector Con to Walmart Me Collector too. Con. Me too. I got to go too. No, we're done. We're done. That's 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 the wrap up. I went from Walmart Collector Con to Walmart Collector Con. So <laughs> very excited. nice. That's it, guys. Great. Well, that was it. Q and A hangout. What else you guys got before we go? Um. Check out my dude, Tony's Figs, on YouTube, Tony's underscore Figs, Instagram, Tony's Figs, 911 on Facebook. Check me out, Black Gingus, Instagram, YouTube. I'll let you boy. I got more shit on the way. Hot fire for that ass. The mixtape. This is my purple tape. Only built for Cuban links. Only built for Toy Kind of Moon. 
So when's yeah. the next episode? Next Thursday. So I'm gonna have shit to Woo! right now. I gotta do this adulting in a real world shit so I can actually make money. Uh, so the 14th, Pi Day, 314. Mark your calendars. Yeah, I'll be I'll be doing on Tony on Tony's figs YouTube. I'm gonna go through my entire OG 13 and make a series on how I made them. Mm -hmm. And Brian, there's no news on. I saw your comment. Sorry, there's no news on Operation Monster Force yet, but we will we will probably have them on an episode. Excuse in me, the future. So that's it. Spec, what else you got, bud? I'm ready for bed. I just want to thank everybody right. for uh, still hanging out with us for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a great crowd tonight. So it was fun. Fun just hanging out, talking about everything. Lots of comic and pop culture talk. It was great. Fantastic. Awesome. And you guys were here for it. So made yeah. us. I'm gonna have to buy some more Guinness for real. So that's next. That's what's <laughs> up. All right. Well, I don't know. We got Walmart Collector Con leaks tomorrow. They're gonna be officially showing us what the, was the shockwave night force, and we'll have to see. So in the future, just check out all of our channels. At Tony's Figs, at Black Genghis, at Toy Optics, at a Toy Kind of Mood, and at another channel to be named down the road. We got some big announcements coming soon. So, yeah, right there. All our IGs are right on the page. If you're not following us on Instagram, go check it out now. But for Bobby Bear, Dave Speck, KJ the Black Genghis, and Tony's Figs, Anthony Romo, I'm Travis Moody. It's been a big episode 160, more like 200, if you include the Terradrome and Toy Kind of Mood at Night. But anyway, episode 160, and we'll catch you all in the twilight and next week. Peace. I don't think we have an intro, so bye. Balloons. Balloons.